Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Wednesday night delight. We are back. A whole week has passed since the Monaco Grand Prix. It is RF1 Wednesday League Season 6, Round 4. The land of Baku, the land of the Horsecock Building, and the land of Poz's new intro, Seven Facts about the race we're at, or the country. Fact one, Azerbaijan is known as the land of fire. Fact two, the first Muslim national to, oh no, fuck, I did it wrong. <laughs> fuck, oh dear. The first Muslim nation to enfranchise women. Number three, <laughs> oh God, Muslim national. Uh, three, Azerbaijan is home to a surprising amount of volcanoes. Fact four, there's oil. A lot of, and a lot of it. Fact five. There's a tiny book museum. Fact six. It's home to the famous Haydar Aliyev Center. And fact seven, which is the most important. The national dish is plov. There you have it, guys. Who's going to have their face dumped in plov tonight if you fuck up? It is Baku. And the eighth fact, of course, is we are here live in colour, in person, and we are going to be rolling and giving you a full qualified session. 17 drivers. We've got Austin, Gamer Man, Noodle X, Sewell, Freeman Geeks, PR Fun, Danny, Hambo, Gazelle Mokel, Dark Mark, Skin, Shaggy, Dragoon, Forrester, Baz Ninja, Raver Chili, Rasa, Rara, and Russia. I believe we just had Bish jump in as well. So we're up to 18. Three people will get eliminated, guys, from the qualifying here tonight, then. So there you go. Bish jump in the last second. So there you have it, guys. Every week we are going to do a seven. Well, a factual show. We're going to turn the stream into education. Now knowing that Azerbaijani's national dish is called plov, I now am fulfilled. And I am now ready and buzzing to complete this stream for you. What the fuck is plov anyway? I want to get some plov. Have a over here. Uh, we've got um, in the chat room, we've got two people watching. Ju <laughs> Judge Judy Slayer. <laughs> Forrester then, he's been struggling all evening, trying to put a set up, let's see, well, he's run out of time now, he's got, we've got part of Fermio, so we better find a good one here, Forrester come on the fast left end there, and then the fast left right, plan the fast right part of it, here we go, onto the main back, the main straight, right the way down, all the way to the end, and he's going to get himself probably in excess of 200 miles an hour, there he is, get just at two or three when he hits DRS, probably looking around about, well, me pissing yesterday, I got, um, on Monday, I got 208 miles an hour, before he's around about the 207, 208 marks, so it's pretty much kind of level pegging there. So let's go board with Forrester. Go past Gamer Man. The brand new Haas driver, and I think he's. he's <laughs> what's, what's he done? Okay. <laughs> um. Oh dearie me. Um. I love how he's took his wing off and he's laid it on the side of the wall. Just. And there you go. The, there you go. That's what you got to do, guys. If you lose a bit of card, if you get a bit of damage on your car, you've just got to. Line it up for the marshals. Stack it up against the wall. Lean it nicely for the marshals to go and pick it up for you. So, happy days, man. He's even fucking... He should get double bubbly. He's cleaned up after himself, quite frankly. Uh, who's that behind him? It is Hambo. Hambo on an outlap, of course. Uh, Dark Mark says, great start, gamer man. It's not ideal. Um, to be honest with you, I think we need to get some extra plov served up for him. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, you can tell I've kind of... I'm like, I'm, like, I'm like a sex star fucking nympho, mate. I'll do these commentaries for so long. Right, anyway, here we go then. So, um, last week we had an amazing Monaco Grand Prix. Not one penalty uh, handed out the entire race weekend. Baron Dolby, obviously continuing on his uh, penalty, saved the tune because he didn't show up. He's still got a 20 second hanging over him. Even if he leaves the league and comes back in five seasons' time, that motherfucker's got 20 seconds added on to his time. You know what I mean? Don't race quick races. Forrester, very, very nicely round there. Excellent job there by Forry. Kind of keeping the car under control, going around the fast left, right, and he goes right down the street. He's already lined himself up already. It's going to be a pretty semi decent lap. Moment 40.4. Q hiccups. Uh, Gazelle road kill as well. Gazelle, what's he going to get? He's got himself a little bit well. He's 1 minute 40.6, so two tenths of a second. But this is probably going to be the rough time estimate. I think Gamer Man might be slightly slower than that. Oh, he's, he's on an outlap. Um, of course he was, wasn't he? He just drove headfirst into the wall, which was about as ideal as a a, a kick in the plov. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Weird to the stream, a plov. Uh, right, and so there's the horse penis building, otherwise known as Mr. Plov, up there in the distance. Uh, that's me implying that Azerbaijanis eat dick. Um, I, I, hopefully I didn't offend any Azerbaijanis watching this. Um, 
So here we go then, round the flag. Oh, we've got a yellow flag there. That's the uh, Aston Martin going a bit slow, really. I think just kind of getting himself around that as well. On his flying lap, getting a yellow flag on his flight. We'll double check that at the end of this. Uh, uh, Needle Neck goes in with a 1 minute 40.572. Two tenths of a second separating the top three at the moment. Nice. Uh, we've got another car coming around. I think that is. It's not really sure. It's the Williams of Austin starting his flight, I believe. Hambo is just coming round the middle sector now. Oh, that's a yellow flag there. I think that's Whale. He's had some form of problems, Whale. He's, oh, he's invalidated. That's definitely a fucking problem. Uh, six views in, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, that's the Mercedes as well. Oh, dearie me. What? Whoa, Rashi nearly drove into him. Oh, you might want to flick that around quick, bro. Oh, yeah, there you go. A gazelle Road Kill, uh, becoming now now known as Gazelle Road Smash. Raver Chili gets himself up to the moment 40.0. Good stuff for Raver. Uh, we've got the Alpha Tari starting his lap, I believe. No, it's not as far as he's got again. One minute 40, so he's two one hundredths of a second off Raver Chili. 24 thousandths of a second if we're going into the thousandth as well. Hambo coming across the line, 38.5. This man's currently got the bit between his teeth and the top of the pops at the moment. Three guys get knocked out in this qualifying. Get your laps in nice and early and then wait to see what happens for the remainder. Give yourself a few seconds, obviously, afterwards, or a few minutes at the end of quality just to kind of be able to bridge, bridge the gap if you need to. Uh, who have we got coming around next? We've got a McLaren of Shaggy. I believe Rara's doing his usual across the outlap, so Shaggy is the next one. Uh, we've got yellow flags fucking everywhere. I mean, why the fuck not? I mean, <laughs> if you want one yellow flag, you may as well get seven of them. Uh, Newton Leck is currently rocking a lap 5.4 seconds slower than his best. I, I, I don't know what... Um, how he's planning to get along with that. And we've got the gaming magpie, eh? Oh, <laughs> magpie, baby! Oh, mate, legend. Got all the old hands are back here. Thank you so much, magpie. And by the way, Donation War is back on. The winner of last week, Rapid Pajala. Guess his name shouted out every single stream I'm in. And there you go. That's what I promised everybody who gets through. Austin goes P2. Williams 1-2 at the moment. Excellent stuff there as he currently has himself in there with a 1 minute 39.48, eight, just over 8 tenths of a second slower than his teammate. But, for just over 9 tenths, sorry, forgive me. But he is there or thereabouts. Raver Chili comes across the line. Doesn't improve. 1 minute 40.0 still. Uh, we've got Whale coming around again. I mean, he's actually not invalidated this one. So Whale has been showing some incredible pace and incredible moves, overtakes that he's done so far. Uh, and he gets himself in with a 1 minute 40, 39.429 to 100 of a second again. 24 thousandths of a second again ahead. So, first half of the field have pretty much set their first laps now. And now they have because Rashi's got him with a 1 minute 39.2. Rashi always setting quick qualifying laps but never manages to kind of come through in the race. He's on no points. No points this season somehow, which is mental to think about. Forrest is just getting laps in in Q1. If it was me now with Forrest's lap, I reckon you'd probably be able to put in, get into the pits. Uh, on that basis, Shaggy's coming across the line, former RF1 Baku winner, one of the few in the lobby that have won round here. 39.8, which is one of his favourite tracks here, of course, as he has admitted himself. Gets himself at the P6, we'll be looking to get himself at the Q3 tonight, you'd imagine. 1 minute 39.6. Freeman Keys, one of the three promoted reserve drivers to go to show. Set up as a reserve. Guys may drop out for whatever reason, of course, we lost Chucky, Dan Pedals and Raining Blood down to reserve level. Chucky then, of course, decided not to... Um... Stay in the league. Uh, fair play to him. And Ham didn't, didn't want to be here. Like, you know what I mean? He's got work commitments. Fair play. Um, just want to give Shockey a big shout out for showing up and committing. I'm not asking him on that. Alpha Tari of Rasa goes across the line with a woman. 38.7. This is the last time I actually raced against Rasa when he used to be known as Rogue Warrior after I left HRT for being accused of getting stuck in overtake. Old habits die hard then, clearly. Uh, Rara didn't improve that lap, so woman at 41.2. He needs to really. Get himself a lap in, I'd say. 16 views, guys. Bloody hell. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Much appreciated. Uh, Aston Martin coming down the main straight. Bish hasn't come out of track. So, at the moment, we've got Bish, Danny, and Dartmouth all in from the mod side of things. Then we've got Baz, Ginger, we've got Haas. We've also got Judge Judy Slayer, my favourite game. Twitch tag on the whole thing. We've got Rasu, we've got Rog, and of course, last but absolutely not least, my man, it is Magpie. Magpie, how you been, buddy? It's been too long, mate. I hope you've had a lovely. Lovely time away from it, like I said. I'm glad you're back. Hope your life's going well. I will obviously wait and see what happens. Come at the end of play here. You know you're going to get something fucking mental when you're watching one of my fucking streams. A game of Oh, 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 fucking Shakir was jealous. Oh, my fucking... Oh, fuck me. Holy moly. <laughs> what the 
fuck? What is he doing? Oh god, this <laughs> fucking saved it. This car just drove headfirst into the wall. It wasn't no, it wasn't Gamer Man. I, I t <laughs> oh no. Oh, I've been sold the Gamer Man. I'm so sorry. Oh dear, it was Free McGee's. Oh no. Um. Oh well. Sorry, I guess Hass are both intent on destroying the cars here. <laughs> I fucking called out the wrong one. Fuck me. Uh, here's Bish coming around. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't... Bish is on a 9 minute 16 lap. Really? Oh, God. As you can tell, back tight. And again, I've yawned, yawned myself out here. Austin retires from session. 39.4, he believes that's going to be good enough. Will it be good enough? We'll obviously wait and see. Dark Mark flying around here as well, on and out lap. Man, him and Austin, of course, once upon a time, I'll go into that story after this swigger call there. Bish, oh, he's just starting to fly that now, I think. I did allude to the fact that Shaggy was a former Azerbaijan Grand Prix winner in RF1, of course, that was season three. Remember that race, of course, Dark Mark had a puncture on the final corner. The final corner. Took out Austin, who hit Shrews. And that, of course, gave the likes of Baz and Ninja their highest ever points finish in RRF1. Dragoose is a bit worried when Komas introduced Portimao. I might get lost. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Mark. I introduced um, uh, Azerbaijan as the first Muslim national. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, think of that as you will. Uh, right. It's not been an easy stream, this. I've been fucking up everywhere. Uh, which means that Gamer Man should be coming around first, is he, I believe? Oh, God! Oh, dear me! Oh, he's lost half a wing already. <coughs> I did actually... Oh, God! <laughs> the hash drivers are intent on finding out who could get the most damage to the car, I think. I should have really tried that on Monday night. Uh, Gamer Man's still going around. He's still got a lap in here. So Gamer Man does have a lap. I think that Rara's actually like, just gone with a 1 minute 40.4. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, there's a wing flying down the road! Game of Madness! Oh my god! Oh, Team Harsh, you poor sausages! Game Man's carried on going, why not? Well, other guys may crash and may, you know, it's a good thing. Well, Bish has just gone into P6 with a 1 minute 39 1. Uh, four hundredths of a second off PR from Danny. Bish not enjoying his life around here. Uh, back at we said earlier, yellow flag. Gamer Man's just driven headfirst into the wall, and that's another Hass exploded. No wonder that team is going broke. You've, you're using about 15 front wings a race weekend. Sponsored by MH370. Uh, Dark Mark, uh, fastest lap. Mark, well done. 1 minute 38.494. Mark almost a sleeping superstar in this league. Remember, one of the only guys who've won a championship in this field. Of course, remember, you do have Rara, who, has, who is a former... Uh, champion 2 in his own right, RF1 Season 3 champion. Uh, Dragoon and Baz both need to go out and do a lap. The last time I said that about Dragoon, he lamped it in the middle of the fucking chicane on Wednesday night last week at Monaco. <laughs> Probably best you go out now, mate. <laughs> Even not in the commentary box the other morning, you're fucking a bad influence. Like, you know what I mean? uh, right, so let's have a little look here. Why I'm loading a photo up with no SIM card? Fuck it. Because my daughter's holding a picture of me, Minnie Mouse. Oh, bless you, baby. Ah. <laughs> oh man, what a lovely picture. Uh, right, so Baz and Ninja is going out on track. He's going to be one of the other guys who hasn't set a lap. The Noodle Lake is currently running in P14. 1 minute 40.572. He's the man in danger at the moment. He'll need to go again from that time. Uh, he's 7 tenths of a second. Forrest has found himself down the bottom. Raver Chili, some really quick guys down here at the moment. Rara's not really pushed. That was a burp, it must be said, uh, just in case you didn't know. So yeah, Azerbaijan, um, obviously without taking the piss and, you know, naming seven random facts and finding out that Plov is apparently a thing. Uh, basically, it's one of the hardest tracks uh, on the calendar, quite frankly. It's, it's one of the most brutal tracks on the calendar. Um, if you guys watch Bish's stream, you'll find quite a few of us foul foul to it, and including myself. Very tricky track, and you just got to have full concentration at all times. The castle section, nothing's ever bad happened up there, 
forever. Woodsy said, Evening Pulse Man Sex can't be on track this evening. Chill on my fellow Alpine driver, Dark Mark. Fair play, buddy. And he's currently fastest at the moment, 38494. Will Noodle let be able to do anything about that? I don't know. Um, we know Gamer Man and Freeman Geese won't be able to do about it because I literally have already called Gamer Man retiring twice because I thought Freeman was Gamer Man. Oops. And then Gamer Man blew up himself, so it's fine. Oh, oh Noodle let go. Cool. Flip it egg. That's one way to fucking stir the walk up there, Noodles. And gets himself going for the fast left and right. You know, he already lost it coming into that. How he's managed to get through there without spinning, but spun on the previous corner. Um, Plov only knows. Uh, right, we've got a yellow flag there. That is uh, sector one. And that's Gazelle oh, Roadkill retiring uh, in the pits. And uh, Noodle X pitted in. Okay. Have a snort there. Uh... Obviously, um, I don't know about um, any position change yet, was he? Um, I know you've done the Monday tables already, which is buzzing. Uh, obviously, if we get any. Uh, there's no reserves tonight, bro, by the way. Uh, we need. To, oh, Dark Mark's inside as well. He's in the pits, too. Uh, so, Forrest has got himself up. He's got himself to a 1 minute 39.790. Much more improved lap time. Blazer Bishop retires as well from the pits. Um, you can just imagine real F1 drivers <laughs> getting into Q1, getting a lap and going, pause, retire from session. Yes. <laughs> the big thing across the screen at the bottom. Lewis Hamilton has retired from Q1. Nikita Mazepin has retired from... Oh, no, he's actually fucking blown up, the dozy fuck. What was I calling? Nikita Spazzy Chin. Right, for he's done his lap there. We're going Boba Ray Chili. I believe he's one of the guys who is... Oh, look, is Baz actually in front of him? Yeah, Baz is in front of him. Baz in front of Raver, I believe. Yeah, he is. So we're going Boba Baz. Baz, one of the two guys... It was the same two last week who needed to get lap times done. Uh, giving themselves a lot of pressure here. You've got to get it done. One and done here. He's got to... Well, one guy is going to get... One actual driver is going to get eliminated from this session who has not retired yet. Woods is hoping the 4G signal holds out so I got to see the action. Matey, you know if it doesn't, we're going to be able to put it on YouTube anyway. And that's Baz. Beautifully over the curve there. No validation required right there, son. Coming through the end of Sector 2. It's a 1 minute 70. Is this lap going to be good enough? Well, it'll need to be to be fucking good enough. He's got no choice. He's got no time and no fuel to go again. I think that was the um, Alpha Tauri of Forrester letting him go, if I'm right. Uh, Russ is actually on a 1 37. Uh, Russ is in P4. Uh, Austin went down to P8 with the 39.4. Will Baz get through? He's got to beat Noodle X. 1 minute 40.5. 1 minute 42.0. Dragoon needs to beat a 1 minute 42.0. If he does, Baz the Ninja is the guy who is out. Baz didn't have the best of laps there. I don't think he'd be very happy with that performance. Team Ferrari, represented by two drivers again. Bass has been very consistent this season, just not in the points every race. Not really involved in any incidents, though. And this is the end of qualifying. So Nudelec is now through to quali. Unless Bass can do some fucking miracle here. Oh, Dragoon! Oh, he's done it again! Two weeks running! Oh, you pleb! Oh, you fucking plov! Which means that Baz has scraped through with a 42-0. Oh my god, Dragoon, you butt nugget. What are you doing? You had the perfect chance to get through. And you decided to meet your maker. Yeah. Very dramatic, I know. Uh, Rao has actually gone back out on track and invalidated, so that's... No, no real issue there. He's pretty, hopefully that's not a waste of the set of tyres, quite frankly. Although it's going to be quite a really good uh, someone just actually went again. Dragoon did complete his lap and actually nearly beat. He nearly beat Baz. He nearly got through with a broken fucking wing. And he doesn't there. So Rara would have got a 30 at 9, which would have put him in P5. Or P6, sorry. But he stays in 12. Both McLaren's through. But both fast drivers out, as is Dragoon. I'd say that'd be quite a shock there for Dragoon to go out of this stage. 18 drivers, guys. Huge turnout for both races. 17 on Monday, 18 for Tuesday, 35 people representing RF1 this week. Epic source. Obviously, you know, the way RF1 used to do things, we went to a third division. Long way off that at the moment, guys. We're looking just to kind of consolidate the two divisions. These two divisions are really cool, man. I mean, why, as they always say, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. It's a motto. I always live off off league racing. People try and tinker with shit so much. They try and fanny around with it all the time. Just fucking get on with it. Guys, by the way, uh, if you're looking into, into donating, guys, it's obviously bits, subs, gifted subs, whatever the fuck you want to do. I'll be, I'll be grateful. If not, sit your asses back and enjoy the show. Uh, Bish currently leads the donation battle with 1,685 bits. What I do for every subscription is 175 bits. That's what we classify as. 
and also for a gifted sub, same as that, as is Prime Sub. So Bishop leads away with 16.85. The winner of that, as of Sunday midnight, will get themselves mentioned every stream I do. Just to prove the point, we're going to do it again. There you go. Rapid Pajala won last week. So, Dark Mark gets the fastest time, 200 of a second quicker than Hamburg. Can't wait to see that battle unfold. Uh, Rashi, Russia, Whale, Danny, Bish, and Austin, Gazelle, and Forrester, Shaggy, and Rara. McLaren's occupying 11th and 12th. One Red Bull got through, the other one didn't. Uh, Raver got through, and Dragoon didn't. Noodlek and Baz, the final two guys that got through. And then Gamer Man and Freeman Geese basically both crashed off. And then Dragoon hit his wing off, tried to complete the lap, nearly got through, amazingly. And awesome. Uh, Dan Downs, welcome in, my lovely. Thank you very much. Dan Downs, I reckon he's second with 215 or 245 bits, I think it is. So thank you very much, Dan Downs, for tuning in this evening. Hope you're having a lovely evening. And there's a horse penis. If you're into stuff like that, then you will love watching this stream because Baku is all about animal body parts. It really is. I mean, we've got a fucking a, an alpaca's thigh gap when you go towards the castle section. Trust me, I'll point that out in a minute. All uh, right, so 15 drivers in. 10 go through, 5 go out. Top 10, start on the tyres that set the fastest lap on. Unless it rains at the start of the race. Then it's anybody's game. And I hope it does rain at the start of the race because this fucking shit is awesome watching it in the fucking rain. Alpha Tari then of uh, Forrester go back out again. Forrester looking to hog the TV time, it would seem. Forrester got through then in the top 10 last time, just ahead of the McLarens. It's going to be interesting to see um, how this season pans out. Uh, Danny quickly leading the way of the championship with 50 points at the moment, of course, did crush out that Monaco. Danny, we haven't really spoke about Danny, he's just kind of been there or thereabouts in the top five, six, he always has been. He's not really put in a lap that's really make us go, fuck it, hell. As of yet, a couple of these guys usually do, Hambo's usually one of them, of course, he's reserved one race. In fact, this is his first full-time drive, so it should be interesting to see. Woodsy says, have you played the for fuck's sake clip like Bish did? Uh, no. <laughs> um... If anybody wants to know, um, it's on my channel. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, um, I swear a lot of F1. <laughs> uh, I, I would do, mate, but I'm, I'm on limited tablet space, so I've got to... <laughs> he says with a laptop next to him. No, I, I, I'm going to leave that shit out. Uh, and also, my little lady's in bed, so I don't want to wake her up. And also, I don't want to embarrass myself like a prick. I do that enough on the regular. But it is funny. <laughs> Forrest. <laughs> Fuck's sake, what's he a fucker? Uh, Forrest. <laughs> I didn't know he played it. I've not actually watched it. I, I, I was at a strop after the race because I had a bad one. So Forrest is just looking to warm the tyres up. Well, not only warm them up, but kind of rubber them in. But, you know, he wants to kind of get the track a little bit rubbered in. You expect him to race on the drive on the racing line to do that. But, I mean, you know, I mean, if you want to wash your hands and pick shit, I mean... You ain't gonna be sanitized. Um, oh, speaking of sanitizer, hashtag um, 18 months since. Uh, right, here we go then. So, Forrester coming down the main street now. Um, as we watch him, there's the horse penis building. For those of you who love animal porn, there you are. There's your fucking fix up there. But what are you? Right, okay, first corner. Forrester takes up very nicely, hits the inside curve. Let's let this car run out to the outside. Bit of traffic in front of him. In fact, there's two cars in front of him, actually. The Aston Martin and the McLaren. They're going to get out of his way. A little bit skew if out of turn two. That is for us to kind of think about the cars up the road, maybe. I think we've got on the inside there, that is Whale. And I think we've got uh, Rara coming round turn three. He's surely going to move out of the way, you'd imagine. Um, he's going to wait to the next corner, maybe. He's putting the power down a little bit. We've got a yellow flag there. That is Shaggy going a bit slow at the start of the... Shaggy's on soft. Oh, Shaggy's gone back into the pits! With slightly less wing than what he came out of it with. Uh, Rara needs to move his backside a little bit here. Forrest is there. Go through the castle. Rara is the car. That's... Yeah, that's probably going to distract Forrester a bit. Rara does get out of the way. He wouldn't have waited that long. He's probably disrupted his own rhythm now, to be fair. But fair play to no, Rara. Did get out of the way. Fair play to him. Uh, here we go, Forry then. He would have got, he will have got distracted by that anyway. It's just the way it is. That brief momentary distraction. You're looking left, thinking about your main it's an apex or not. Real F1 drivers do it. There's fucking no reason why most guys can't do it as well. Forrester, of course, sets a purple middle sector at the moment. He's the first one to go around. Baz getting an early lap in, I believe. Well, both Ferraris out getting an early lap in. 
Um, no crashes have actually got well, no big explosions going down the main street so far. Forrester. Three goes now. We're going to go on board with Baz really quick. Oh, no, we're there. We're going to go a bit further back. Uh, Forrester gets him there. There you go. There's a fizzy alpaca thigh gap, guys. Right up there. Bishes left session. And we've got more lobby issues again. What a fucking shot. Forrester, 1 minute 40.069. Quicker than his first lap, actually. Rashi coming across line. 1 minute 39.37 tenths per second up. The Mercedes then of Gazelle Roquel. The only Mercedes represented here tonight, then. What can he do? Gazelle Roquel. P2. Is it P3? 1 minute 40. Uh, we need someone to get Bish back in the lobby, guys, if that's okay. If you're watching. Uh, we've got Austin is coming round. There, he's not. That's fine. Uh, the Ferrari of Baz. Let's go back, go back back on board with Baz the Ninja. The man who joined League Racing from watching this very league way back in the day. What an inspiration RF1 was, man, back in the day. So many, We give so many guys the starts in League Racing. Man, it's been mental. Let's give so many guys at home. Quite a few of them abuse that fucking privilege, but fuck them. Baz, 1 minute 41.2, 1.1 seconds down on Gazelle Roker. Needs to improve on that timing, I imagine. They've got the Williams and Hambo coming around them. Hambo, it looks like this is going to be a quick one. 38.8 half a second quicker than Rashi. That's a lap. Uh, what we've got here, we've got Austin coming around as well, have we? Yes, we have. He's coming towards the main street now. That's a swig of cola. <laughs> <laughs> Mark getting 16th place and real. Oh, Gazelle's exploded! We've got a castle section. We've got a pause. We've got our first pause. Where is he? Where's he been there? Oh, he's. Oh, he's. Where the hell is he? Oh, fuck me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dearie me. Um, well, Gazelle's fucked. Um, he's become roadkill again. Yeah, no, it's Bishy got, well, you've got, I, I don't know how long he got. Oh, there you go, he's moved now. Not exactly what Shaggy wants to see on this fucking outlap. Uh, Baz, I think, coming into the pits, and he's on a 1 minute 41.2 at the moment. Bishy, no, his mate, take, I'll say take all the time. You need, you've got to get your ass moving, haven't you? <coughs> We're going to turn the old fan on. We're going to put it on number two, because I want to get blasted. Right. Alpha Tari, Rasir. Nope, it's not, it's the other one. Forrester, still going around. I'm assuming he's coming to the pits. Yes, he is. Uh, McLaren goes past. Skin Shaggy. Who's the fucking closest one to a lap? I have no idea. Oh, we got a yellow flag there. Who's that? It is... Uh, Austin. Oh, oh, no. Hambo. Oh, he's, has he lost his wing there? Needs to have a bit more of a... bit better camera angle. No, he hasn't. He's just driving slow. Oh, Danny's exploded! Holy moly! We lost one. Danny's exploded. Danny's done a Danny. Where's he say? Where's he exploded? Oh, there he is. That's oh my god! This front wing bouncing down the road. Austin's getting a fucking killer toe here. Austin's picked on right toe up off his teammate. And puts it P two. Williams one two at the moment. But to be fair, I think Danny just got blasted. To be fair, blasted right into the plov market. Um, oh, Rara there, losing control, coming around that corner too. Guys are finding it quite slippy. Oh, she got me slipping. Yeah, that one. I can't do the loud noise because the no, lazy bird. Um, so, Rassi goes in second with the one. It's 39250. Uh, Danny, then, one of the quickest guys in the league, is currently out of qualifying. Best start at the moment is P12. Bish is actually. Uh, he's not. Oh, Hambo, yeah, he's retired. He's retired anyway, that's fine. You always have to worry. You always have to think about it, don't you? Whether he's actually fucking genuinely blew up. So if Gazelle gets 10th place, he starts on medium tyres, but then his other mediums, all of the way, gets transferred over. Blazer Bishop, 888, jumps back into the lobby. There you go. The Aston Martin driver is back with us. <laughs> Slippy says, Danny says, fuck's sake. Yeah, Danny, as they always say, if you donated, you wouldn't have just crashed into the wall. You know what I mean? Because we're that much of money horse these days. You know, we've got we to gotta blame everything on the dough. Oh. Skin Shaggy, 1 minute 40.005, just being Forrester at the moment there. Shaggy goes into P6. Uh, Dark Mark is just starting to lap. We're going to get on board with Dark Mark because have a little bit of a watch along. Yellow flag right by my. Oh, it's because of the fucking McLaren off at the. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh, he moved out of the way. I was wondering where the fuck. Did one of you melt into the wall? Shaggy didn't been around that long. You crashed off. Hello, Pause. How's it going, matey? Oh, this is matey. How you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm pretty good, man. What are your. Well, both your Ferraris are in the top 10 at the moment, buddy. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Welcome in. 
to watch the fucking madness. Uh, right, as we say, guys, you know, I'm talking about donations and that. We're going to take a little bit of a change of plan. That is Dragoon. That is 100 biddies. Well done, Marky Mark. Thank you so much, baby. And um, we'll get that written down in a moment where I can find my fucking paper. Fuck me. What the fuck is it? We'll keep notes because... Not because I'm a greedy son of a bitch. Because I forget who's donated what. Uh, <laughs> and obviously, we're doing that uh, promoting shit. And I've just knocked the Mrs. Wine glass fucking flying. Shit, the bed. Oh, fuck me. I think I've just rung the... Oh, my God. I'm smashing the house to pieces. All uh, right. I'm bored with that. that pretty good lap so far, then. Uh, yellow flag there. That's... I think it's one of the cars going slow. I think Shaggy going slow. Uh, one minute. Uh, T uh, uh, Dragoon. Oh, fuck it. The only pen in the fucking world that don't fucking work. Not bad. Mark can run the final left right now. Here we go, the Mark truck. Barging down the main street now, the but I always I, I always say back, back street for some reason. So now we're the hundred biddies, Mark currently in third. And Mark goes in P2. So so close to hand, but the two of them are swapped round. That's a McLaren. I think it's Shaggy going very slow looking to conserve the tires. Rashi and Baz will qualify P1 and P2. No, uh, well Baz on three lap on medias, mate. He might have a bit of an issue getting a one bit 38. If he does that, it'll be an esports level. Um <laughs> 100, there we go. Cheers, Marky Mark. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated, man. You know, I love you forever, for that. Thank you so much. Right. Noodle Neck needs to go get a lap. We've got a few guys who need laps here. We're going to get a bomb with Noodle Neck, who is, he's already seen his teammate explode through that corner. I think it's just proved that it isn't a kind of car thing and is more of a teammate thing. Uh, <laughs> he gets through it just fine. Rao is a guy in trouble at the moment. Noodle Neck comes across the line. He does P9. He's not quicker than Gazelle. He's not quicker than Gazelle Roadkill here. If someone beats Noodle next time, Noodle Neck's going to fall to 11th place here. So, Raver Chili, who is very, very consistent this season. Um, two podiums, Raver. The most, well, him and Austin share the most podiums out of them all. Oh, that's a bit naughty from Rara. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Well, saves you right. Saves you fucking right, Rara. <laughs> that is brilliant. He's done so much to get by front of him. Noodle's more of a just eat thing. <laughs> Can somebody say just eat? There you go. If you guys feel better about that, that I hope you do. Uh, <laughs> Rara has just pushed in front of yeah, exactly. It was Rara pushed in front of Shaggy. I say that should come up and stood. He just waited. He wouldn't have held Shaggy up. Shaggy wouldn't have had to drive through the middle of him. I think that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> bit of a shitty teammate tactic there from Rara, flying past him into the pits. Rara's shown he's got a bit of an edge, to be fair. I'm liking this Rara. This motherfucker gives a shit. This, this motherfucker don't give no shits about teammates. <laughs> Raven Chili, P7, putting Noodle like out. Noodle has got to improve. He's got to get a quicker lap than a 1 minute 40.0. As it stands, he ain't going to. Nowhere near it. Horse penis building looking ominously on. And Noodle needs, he, this needs to be the best lap of his career here. Or he's going out of qualifying. Baz, he's on an out lap around soft tyres. Bish is in trouble. Rara trying to get back out on track as well. He's going to literally have to go out right now when he does. So he's going to have to push probably on his out lap as well, Rara. Get his tyres nice and cushy. Bish, he does have the pace, but then we've seen quicker drivers go out at this stage. Well, as quicker drivers, if not quicker, at this stage of qualifying. This league is a minefield. So many good drivers will be going in and out. Shaggy has retired. He's not going back out on track. So there's your target. 1 minute 40.005. You've got to basically beat Shaggy. Raven Chili is not safe in this qualifying either. Four guys are currently out on track. One of them on the soft tyre. Noodle Neck on mediums, but he is improving by a tenth of a second. He needs to put about an extra half a second on here. The Alpha Tari, I think that's Forrester letting guys go. Uh, Blaze Bishop goes into P7. 1 minute 39.475. Forrester's back out on track, so I don't think that could be even good enough for Bish, to be honest. That's the Ninja. He's doing his lap. Who's on a flying lap? Noodle Neck. We'll go back up with Noodle. As he hit the wall, That I think he may have got away with it. He's still pushing. Uh, Dragusa, I feel like Perez, Raver, Chili's. I feel like a Perez to Raver. I know that Mark's got the, his name on the screen and he still can't spell it right. Uh, <laughs> fucking Raver, Chili, mate. Not Raving, Chili. <laughs> As in cold. 
Fuck it up. Oh, no. Noodle X. Well done on his time. Can he go again? Or is this going to be a miserable qualifying for Alfa Romeo? Baz the Ninja is going. He's pushed away. He's, he's on soft tyres. So Baz may get himself into Q3 as well. See Wales gone back out on track just to kind of cover himself off. I think Wales actually technically is safe. Whale is safe at the moment. He cannot get knocked out. I don't know why Whale's even out on track, to be fair. If you crash out now, you'll look like a fucking Mongo, quite frankly. Um, Gazelle is eliminated. He was eliminated, but he's officially eliminated. He's 11th place now. So Rarit's starting his lap. We've got Baz the Ninja next up on the block. Noodle X out. Noodle X is done. Noodle X is out qualified. Both Alfa Romeo's out in Q2. That's a surprise. I'd almost use the word a shock, quite frankly. That is a shock. Alfa Romeo have been exceptional. I know they're my combined constructors team. I'm not being biased here, though, guys. Danny is top of the table. Noodle like is a consistent point score. Dark mark across the tyres. He is definitely safe. Uh, so at the moment, uh, Blazing Bishop is safe. Everyone down. Oh, no. So, no. Ravy Chili is safe. So, basically, Baz and Ninja and Rara could but No. Shaggy isn't safe. So, Shaggy could get knocked out. Forrester, Rara and Baz all improve. And Shaggy is getting knocked out. Fascinating battle between Baz and Shaggy. These two are very, very similar in pace. Let's watch and see what goes on here. 1.3 seconds. This at the moment is a 39.5. That's going to push Forrester out of qualifying as it stands. Let's have a look here. Is he going to be able to do anything? We've got three guys out on track at the moment. 10th, 13th, and 14th place. Rave Chili could go out of qualifying here. With ev If all the stars intertwine here, Baz has put Forrester out. He's coming next. Forrester moves himself into third, which means Shaggy's out of quali. Will Rara make it up? Two McLarens out. It's between Rara and Raver. These two swap positions on the last lap. Thanks to Raver having an incident on lap 38 round Monaco. Will Rara... I think Rara's going to do this. It's going to be close. Did he go through? I don't know if he went through or not. Did Rara get it? It's between Rara and Raver. I was just giving Baz the big thumbs up there. Well done, Baz, indeed. And he's put Raver Chili... Raver Chili's out. Wow! Well, one of the two of them would have got a shock either way. Hambo claims the fastest time this time. Instead of dark mark, the two of them swap around. Forrester on the softs, as is Basil. Both start the race on the red wall tyre. Um, then we've got uh, Rassir in the Alpha Tari. Both Alpha Tari's doing pretty well in that session. Rassir seems to be really on the ball here. Best of the rest behind Hambo and dark mark. Uh, Austin, Rashi, Whale, Baz, the aforementioned Baz, well done. Uh, Blazing Bishop and Rara. The guys are eliminated then. Rave Chili. That's probably the biggest shock, I'd say. Well, as well as Danny and Noodle. Both Alpha and Mayo's gone as well. Uh, I think he. Oh, no. Chili is in the country. C H I L E. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, dear. Oh, we'll just move on. Uh, <laughs> then it is Gazelle Roe killing. Shaggy in 12th, sorry. Gazelle in 13th. And Noodle in 14th. And Danny not setting a time due to the crash. There's Q2, guys. Who are we waiting on? If you can let me know who we're waiting on. <clears throat> who we got? Come on. Who's fucking spinning disc in this time? Who's going to make me showcase my shit driving in career mode on theatre mode? Come on. <laughs> right, guys. Anybody in the chat? Let us know. Come on, peeps. If someone could, if everyone could press A, that would be ideal. <laughs> Nobody in the chat want to say, or are we just going to sit here in silence? They can sing to you if you want. Gazelle and Dragoon. Mark, are you at your fucking key? Are you at your desk, mate? Press A. Cheers for that, Danny. I bet it's Bish. Yeah, I'd totally say it was Bish as well, mate. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't beat me off at manager, so um, he's just, yeah, he's just, uh, it, oh, it's not a oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, Dragoon, get yourself back on press A. Is, ever, is it still the two of them? Gebek Gazelle's gone, fuck this, I fucking walked off. Uh, no idea, I just got a K. La, welcome, lovely. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Um, Rasa, cheers for that. I, 
Mark, if you can hear me, press A because you're watching the stream. So, uh, if someone can message Gazelle, tell them to press A and advance as well. It's right, Rasu. Is um, guys, is Mark not on Spinny Circle anymore? Why doesn't it just advance the time fucking for you? What a fucking bag of shite. Actually, I don't want to say press A in case he starts the and doesn't read it until we're on the grid. But like, oh, <laughs> bollocks. Yeah, I think you've got to press advance as well. Uh, right, well, we're stuck here in Q2. Who's got any suggestions? What are we going to do for singing? Fuck it. I'll break out my old ukulele. What are we doing? Because we're not going anywhere. Because Gazelle's not pressing the fucking A button. If someone, if we could just spam him messages, if you can find out where he is. Oh my god. I always get more views when we're just sitting and doing fuck all. Here we fucking go. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saying I was. No, I'm not seeing fucking Baby Shark. Fuck me. I'm 31 fucking years old. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez Louise. Hambo says, what's... Is that... what's this? We, we don't use the word nonce on this channel, bro. We don't use that shit. Uh... Yeah, we don't use nonce, bro. We don't use that word nonce. Come on. I'll tell you what. Hambo, I love you, baby. Uh, we don't. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not, that's, I'll give you warning for that, bro. Don't go using that sort of language, man. I know, I, I know it's funny. I know you're doing it in jest. I, I, I like you. I love you, bits, man. But watch that. Watch that sort of language, but we, we may have kids watching. You know what I mean? So, uh, gotta watch out. So fucking right. There. <laughs> yeah, watch that, man. About uh, some sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. There you go. That's for you. Uh, I don't know much of the words. So I, I did. I've actually got them. Uh, <laughs> Here we go then. We've got to put the sheep away. What? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, are, are you actually being serious? Are you a farmer? I, I, I mean, if we're talking about nonsense and then you're bringing sheep into it, I, I hope you're a farmer, bro. I've got to be. <laughs> Oh dear. I love my time to stop using the language there. I'm the one laughing and joking with him about it. Anyway, that mark. So we've got 10 guys here. The guys get an extra set of soft tires. So technically, you have four sets of softs in the session shoes if you want to. Uh, one gets to turn it in equality. And top 10 shoot. Oh, this is going to be for the top 10 positions on the grid, unless one of the guys has had a penalty earlier in the session, which they didn't. So. Austin, Whale, Blaze Bishop, Hambo, Dartmark, Forrester, Bazin Ninja, Rasir, Rara, and Rashi. One of those ten. But to put banana. Um, I'm only trying to help. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not helping that, but shut up. Uh, right, okay. I can't turn that bar out in case I get any followers or anything. Or subs. Uh, right, okay, as we said, guys, before Mark gets started, we are... Oh, what did Danny say? What did he say? Yeah, I, I should, um... T what did Danny... I need to have a look here. What's Danny saying? Just Gazelle now. Gazelle and Dragoon. Nice and pause. What's Danny saying? I haven't got any bad messages. Bastard Ninja just comes in. It's because Danny ain't used uh, the word not to do it. I, I just don't like we've We've had a lot of issues with that word banned around in this fucking chat before, so we've got to kind of go easy on it. Pe people got really offended. Uh... <laughs> oh, God, I forgot Jamie was in here. Humpo, <laughs> mate, we we got, we got a farmyard war. <laughs> that way, concentrate again. Dark Mark, of course. Face around, of course, you can get a pick on second. Went to us if Dave rode a sheep, pressed the horn, and put it out. Right, come on. Uh, should we kind of clean the chapel up a little bit? I don't know. It's 
Oh, fucking mods in here. What are you all doing? Yeah, but what did Danny do? I didn't even do anything wrong, as far as I know. Unless you used the word earlier in the chat. You'll get fucking slapped in the fucking face for it. Dark Mark then, round sector two. I've not even fucking put these shit up things on yet. Here we go. So I guess everybody, of course, is on soft tyres. Uh, here we go then. Round the final complex of corners here. Dark Mark, come on then, Mark. Let's see what you can do. Is he going to get. Are we going to see a 37? Oh, oh, sorry. I thought. Oh, shit. Ah, now there is a secret to that. Because Danny is admin in PRF1, so he becomes a mod on my channel. See? And Darkmark, one minute, 38.188, the quickest lap of the race weekend, Rara 39.5. We got, um, I believe that was Hamburg starting his flying lap for Rari of Rashi. We know Rashi's got a bit of pace. All oh, right, so I, I thought you were about that. Yeah, that's fine. 38.3 by Rashi. He's currently in P2. It's because the uh, mods, basically. Uh, and it's probably because it doesn't like you. Because uh, Nightbot's a cunt, quite frankly. Uh, yeah, he's a mod because he's PRF1 admin. Uh, if you are uh, admin in the League of Commentators, I'll give you mod status. Wait a minute! What the hell? Guys, bitch, has got a condom on his head! He's got the helmet on! <laughs> he's up to the condom route. Uh, wait, whoa, where the fuck did that come from? Real fastest. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that's took me by surprise. Austin into P5. Good luck there by Austin. It's about Hambo. And Hambo's invalidated. Seriously. Oh my god. Ross here on an outlap. <laughs> 24 views, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, right, here we go then. Oh, Groot's watching. Hey, Groot, welcome in, buddy. Or oh, Halxi, as we used to call you back in the day, brother. How you doing? Uh, so Dragoon leads the day's donations and 100 bitties. Does anyone else go do any donations? Who wants to get themselves a shout-out at the end of the week for the whole of next week for every stream I do? Bear in mind, I'm streaming F1 career mode every fucking day of the week. So every stream, you were free, Willy. <laughs> Just got to put your black knob out there, Mark, are you? Oh, shit. Oh. Um. <laughs> I just say that. Um. I'm just gonna. Hip hop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll just um, move on from that. <laughs> After me saying what I just said, why is Nightbot said you think I was gone forever? Whoa. Wouldn't you like to know? Sorry, Casper. <laughs> Uh, talking about big black knobs and helmets. <laughs> what lap did he do? 38 full. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, fuck it. Whoa! And around goes Rassid. Get myself back focused. Cheers, buddy. Uh, Hamba, though, has not actually done a lap yet. Uh, here we go, Hamba. What's he going to get? Two laps on the softs. Whoa, that's in two laps. Yeah, especially under the previous combat. Handball, two laps on the softs. Nearly broke into the one minute. My ear gone funny. Yeah, you know, I laughed at the show, my ear popped. That was annoying. Uh, right, okay, here we go then. So we've got a couple of guys. No one's actually come back out on track yet, so we're still waiting for the final runs of the session. To take their place, or to, to take a place, sorry. Uh, Austin, let's do his second lap there, Austin. Finding a little bit more joy on the second lap. He actually improved himself, but gave himself an extra tenth of a second. Ah. Oh. 
Jesus, what a fucking stream this has been so far. Uh, unless Austin's going for a really quick turnaround, I don't think he's going to be able to get back out here. Is he just going on for the one run, is he? Rashi's come out on track. Um, no one else is actually making a move yet. Uh, Dragoon, mate, is in 16th. Uh, oh, it's in 16th position. Uh, Bob, we're just waiting for the, the... Well, we call it the calm before the storm moment, don't we? Uh, we've got Danny watching. We've got Baz Ninja. Chippy, a.k.a. Spreader. I know you're still there, right? I hope you're having a lovely evening, mate. Good performance on Monday as well. Uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, welcome in again, buddy. Hambo. We've got Iviotic. Uh, Ivyaf. I have no idea what the fuck they are. If, if they're real people, fair play. Uh, Kayla Crafter. Uh, thank you very much. Just still watching. I'm still trying to make it if Judge Judy... Right, get rid of that cunt. Who is that cunt in the lobby? Badass Banner 21, get out. Who the fuck is this fucking son of a bitch? Get him gone. Shalom, Mo Shaf. Happy days. If someone can message this geezer, get him out. Guys, have we got anyone in who can get him out? Badass Banner 21. He's not even meant to be here. Yeah, he did, mate, and he actually nearly, he nearly got 15th, actually. Um, but about a second off. Uh, we've got someone in the lobby called Badass Banner. Get him out the get him out the lobby, guys. We've got to reset. I can't be asked resetting at fucking five to ten at night. Come on. Yeah, good to see you, Kayla. Cheers. I'm still watching, lovely. Uh, like I said, guys, uh, we've not got any space at the moment for new drivers, but we've always got reserve slots available. So uh, search RF1 if anyone's got the link for RF1. Uh, pop it in the chat for us, and uh, we'll build it. I've actually got RF1 saved as a link on here. Yeah, I need to. Um, yeah, is that guy, is that motherfucker left yet? We've got a guy called Badass Banner at the back of the, back of the grid. We haven't got Ghost in it, so he's going to be there the whole race. Well done to Blacklist yourself, mate. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, we've got Rashi and Rasa. So here we go, Rashi. Rasa's still going around from his initial run, to be fair. So we'll go on board with Rashi. One Ferrari driver in there. Oh, this is actually, oh, you've actually raided me. Cheers, bro. Welcome in. Cheers for the extra raid. Viewer, you know this car. Cheers, matey. Thank you very much. Uh, Rushy then. Round sector two. Got a purple fit. Well, started sector two. Got a purple fit sector. Uh, you know we love that raid by Ozes. Uh, here we go then. Right. Yellow flag sector one. That is the Williams of Hambo. Or, and, I think it's Hambo. Yeah. Austin's rather beside the track. Uh, Rushy then. Flying around sector two now. There's a guy called Badass Banter in the lobby, man. What the fuck is he doing? Why would you literally come into a lobby that's not even yours? Stupid fuck. Look at that Ferrari, mate. He's currently four tenths of a second up, and he didn't invalidate and rode the curb perfectly. Now, this is Rashi. If he can hit this, these final couple of corners, he is going to take pole, provisional pole position here, and we're going to be in the we're going to be in the 37s. We've not had one yet today. Massey hit a 37.5 for pole position on Monday. Will we see that eclipsed here? Rashi across the line. He didn't beat Hambo. He lost the 10th and he's only P2. Rashi's played his hand and it's not good enough at the moment. Dark Mark then still has... Well, it's still on his fucking outlap actually. As is Bish, both guys are on outlaps. Uh, I think Forrest is also just behind him on an outlap too. And Baz isn't on an outlap. He's coming across the line in a matter of moments. Baz, does he improve from 10th? He just misses out on Rara by a tenth of a second. Unlucky oh, there. Uh, Whale then's the next car round. Whale coming around the end of sector two. Uh, uh, contact Rara. What's happened to Rara then? What do you mean is in contact, Rara? What, what, what about? Or you said that he hit someone. Whale across the line then. Whale takes provisional pole position. First 37 of the session. That's when you want to do it. Williams of Hambo doesn't beat Whale. Oh, come on. I've got to see. What the fuck? <laughs> the other Williams of Austin doesn't improve. He got, stays on a 1 minute 36. He was just a couple of hands. I'm not saying come on, I'm not saying contact. What the fuck has he done? Um, well, here we go. We're going to see Rara. Is he going to be able to get himself a 37? Rara's been the master of surprise qualifying positions. <laughs> going to save Volk a bit of an odd autocorrect. Is he going to get it? No, no shock. Front row started for Rara. 38, 4, 5, 3. 
Ferrari of oh, Rashi coming to the pits. You know, he's going again, but it's... it's uh... Yeah, cheers, Danny. Get him out, mate. Fucking idiot. Mark, we forgot about Mark. That Mark. Oh, he's eclipsed from Hambo. Hambo's off the front row. Mark couldn't quite get pole. A bish gets P5. We've got Forrester still. Doesn't well he improves, but not his position. Forrester stays ninth. And Baz comes into the pits. That was an eccentric call for the whale. Managed to well get himself up there. Um <laughs> To be honest, Kill, like I said, if you um like we always say, get on Facebook, RRF1, search the group. If anyone's got the link for the group, put it in there. And there you go. Get you sorted. Uh, but that is qualifying here for Azerbaijan. And we've got a fucking little straggler in the lobby. I don't know who the fuck that is. Has he got like a name or anything, Danny, next to his profile? Is it one of them fake ones? I think it's probably a fucking troll, probably. It is. I mean, Baz, impressive. Got himself to Q3 as well. He'll be very happy with that. Um, so, the top 10, the classification rundown. We got 1 minute 37.873 for Whale. The only 37 in the whole race we're going to get some pole position. Dartmark is second in the Alpine, a further 10th down, then a thousandth of a second separating Hambo and Dartmark. Rashi and P4 finishing off the second row. Bish and Rara. Rossi and Austin, the second off Atari of Forrest and Baz, round up the top 10. Dragoon with, well, Bish, we got Bish, we got someone random in the lobby, mate, so we may not be going at all. <laughs> um, hopefully he does go. Dragoon with 100 bits again, mate. Cheers for that, Mark. Thank you very much. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and grab the results. Um, if this prick shows up, guys, we will need to do a lobby reset. If he shows up on the race director, um, we will need to do uh, a lobby reset, obviously. <coughs> oh, he's left. Yeah, but has his car been put on the grid? Um, let's have a look. No, it hasn't. No lobby reset. Woohoo! Right, guys, that means I can go for a fucking cigarette. Cheers for the 100 bitties. Uh, 2205 Bish, thank you very much. Uh, Vulcan, uh, we'll speak to you, mate. We'll speak to you, bud. Um, message me in the, message me probably towards the weekend, mate, if you can. And we'll get back to you. All right, guys, back in two minutes.
Right you are guys, your man's back. 21 viewers guys, thank you so much for watching. There's the top five, there's a bottom four team, we're going to go back to the top four, everybody's on medium tyres at the top. We've had a lot of people showing love for Hambo, not one person has voted for our polo man. Intriguing. Whale has shown a lot of inconsistency in terms of incidents on track. Guys, let me know in the chat, how's the audio going, are we all good? Sometimes I might be a little bit quiet, um, maybe because I shove it too close or too far with my fucking mouth. Um, so here we go, then we've got 12 drivers, we've got Whale, uh, 12 drivers, just fucking 18, you innumerate bastard. Uh, <laughs> Dragoon on the hard tie is very interesting, uh, looking to go for the long haul maybe. Whale, Dartmark, Hambo, Rashi, Bishop, Rara, Rasta, Austin, all on the mediums. The soft clad runners of Forrest and Baz, maybe going for an alternate strategy here. Then we've got Raver Chili, Skin Shaggy, Gazelle, Noodleneck, Danny, Raver, Noodleneck and Danny out of position, so arguably you could say it's Dragoon. Gamer Man and Freeman Geese. Freeman's a hell of a racer. That's cool, man. I don't like I said, uh, Vulcan. Obviously, if you get yourself out for reserve, we've got quite a few reserves on Monday. Uh, Wednesday, we haven't actually got any reserves. Well, we've got reserves, but they're currently not not active at the moment. So, um, runs Wednesday, but we should guarantee yourself a race, and we are good to go. Then, guys. Baku formation lap. We're good to go. Here we go then. Whale gets away. A lot of guys. We're gonna go basically just basically keep doing this. I want to see the guys wheel spin maybe further down the grid. What a wheel spin there for Gazelle. Everyone got away cleanly on the formation. Oh man, you know this sort of this is the sort of time. Do you know what man? I've been doing league racing for nine and well, pretty much ten years this year. I've been doing league racing, guys. F1 2012. I was involved in my first ever league race. And you know what, 10 years on, still do well, back doing it, should I say. I had about six months off. I stopped racing. The love of RF1 brought me back. I've got to be honest, that's the only reason why I'm back. Uh, <laughs> at least for, at least driving anyway. I love commentating, it, obviously, as you guys can tell. But it never gets old. And the whale is shot off on the formation lap. This could be a mistake. You'll need to kind of warm his... He's going to have to cool his tyres down or his engine's going to be overheating on the grid. Dartmark and Hambo doing the right thing. Just These guys are all taking the sweet-ass time. Still warming the tyres up. Look at the gap already between Whale and the Haas pairing of Gamer Man and Freeman Geese right at the back. There's literally four corners between them already. Gazelle's in the castle. Uh, sorry, not Gazelle. Uh, Whale's in the castle. And these guys are just coming around the left-right. So, you know, there's a big, big difference. Yeah, that's fine. V Vocal, like I said, you go for reserve. We ask you if you can race. And then if you can't, fair play. No worries. Like, you're not pressured. There's a reserve to race. You know what I mean? Even the guys who are in the main lobby, if you've got a damn good reason not to fucking show up, then that's fine. We just don't deal with no-shows. We've had a couple of no-shows today, which I'm not... Which We've had one no-show, sorry, Dolby, wasn't it? Dolby. I forgot Woods. I forgot um, Woodsy actually did say his intent's fucking up, so... Whoops. <laughs> uh, here we go, then. 18 drivers. Finish tyres for one last time. Dragoon, proving to be the Graham Potter of the grid right now, the hipster. Whale has done a great job. I, I did almost criticise him before. He has done a great job in slowing the field down. And we've got a couple of guys to score. Forrester and Danny. How are they both disqualified? What? Didn't, ah, this Forrester spun and Danny walloped him. Well, I don't know, but... Fuck knows. Um, no ghosting here tonight as well, guys. So if it's a problem at the castle, you're all fucked. <laughs> Will we see drama? The last RF1 race I covered... There was a three-car pileup on this very corner. Right here. This man, Austin, and this man, Dartmark, saw their podium dreams evaporate in front of them. Three seasons on. So, Dart no, Dartmark has raced in RF1 before then. Aha! He did race in RF1. He must have done. Okay. Whale. Gets himself to the line. Camera's blurry. Uh, probably shouldn't be, bro. It might be your own stream. I'm running on a um, maximum resolution. If Guys in the chat, really quick before we get started. Anyone else having camera issues, please let me know. Guys on the grid, let me know. Please, 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 please in the chat. Come on. Maybe a reset of the stream here, Ryan, if you can, bud, if you need to. I can't do it myself. We're about to go live, baby. In Azerbaijan, Baku, Season 6 Wednesday League, Round 4. 
and it is lights out and they are fucking out of here. And the Ferrari's not moved. Baz has not moved off the line. He falls to the back. And we're going to, oh, we've got a bit of collision there between Rashi and the Hambo. Oh, no, they're both still going. Oh, in the background, what's happened here? Freeman Geese has made an absolute unbelievable start, I think. Uh, Rashi and Hambo, they've all got round unbelievably cleanly. Fair play to the lads here. Absolutely brilliant stuff by the Wednesday drivers at the moment. That is right, we're going to basically keep going down. Oh, we've got to move there. Uh, Bish have a little look at the inside of Hambo, which is going to pretty much give Austin a little run at the outside of Bish. Great driving so far from the guys. There we go. Oh, Austin couldn't quite get through. Rassi and P7, 8th, 9th, 10th. Oh, a bit, bit screwed through. Raver, Chili and Shaggy maybe having a little bit of a moment there. Shaggy running in 10th position on the mediums. Forrester in 11th. Danny just behind it. Oh, oh look at this. Danny and Free McGee's. Free McGee's finally getting himself stuck in with the racing. Oh, yeah, yeah, low, it's 1080p, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, three were very close to the back. Oh, if Nublex are locked down, that's just a good shot. Look at this, side by side, Baz back up to 17th. Top 10 score here. Dark Wales got himself six tenths of a second away. I've seen Whale run away with races. Guys, this guy is no slouch. He may do some excellent overtakes. Bish has, has he got damage? Has Bish got damage here? We've got to get a flag back there. Has Bish got damage? He's dropped right back off the back of him. Oh, he might have just had a moment there. Austin just behind him. <coughs> Oh, in the background! Who was that? Move like nearly hit the wall. Great save. What a clean first lap. Oh, other than Baz, he's, um, he's going for the droopy penis front wing look. Whale, half a second up at the moment. Slipstream will be in a huge effect here. Rashi, looking to overtake his great nemesis and great, great friend. Dark, Mark, as... What the hell? Is Whale? Wait, why is Whale ghosting? Whale's ghosting here. Where's Whale gone? Whale's glitched out the lo What the hell? Whale's glitched the lobby here. What's going on? Oh, we've got Baz in the pits, obviously. Forrester's gone! Forrester out! What? How has he crashed? Oh, dearie me! Well, Forrester, that's not what you want. A VSC is out immediately. 25 views, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Whale's not... I think what is the... Whale, is he desynced here? He's in P12. What is going on here no safety car we're just on VSC ah here we go it's gonna get so yeah here we go right it's starting to fix itself back up here now Forrester made lap what two he didn't make fucking lap three uh, Gazelle then so we've got Rashi in second Dark Mark third Hambo we've got Bish Austin you just guys have just gotta watch yourselves under the VSC keep your deltas low don't slam on if you can help it we've got a lot of the TPA boys in for, uh, hey that's the first time I've ever mentioned your little your little vagabond group. <laughs> TPA boys in. Welcome in, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, right then, so Forrester has DNF'd. We're just waiting off a Baz to kind of go past where Forrester was. Forrester's exploded. Um, I think that's kind of decent the lobby at the moment. Hopefully not completely. Uh, I don't want to have to leave the lobby again as I did last week. So, now, still going with the VSC here. No overtaking, of course. Top four, have a skip. Look at Hambo all over Dartmouth. Now, these two are both heavily tipped and touted to become race winners here. And we are going again. No penalties under the VSC. Fucking brilliant. I'm happy that that hasn't fucking happened to be fair. We're going to go back on book because Hambo and Dartmark, these two, like I said, two of the favourites. Now, officially, DRS has been activated. Stronger together. What the fuck is this? A self help group? <laughs> oh, it's your motto. Sorry, forgive me. Uh, <laughs> you got to expect me to have a go there. Rashi has got round the outside of Whale. Still going though. Whale's got DRS on Rashi. This is huge. They're going side by side. Whale really takes the lead from Rashi. Brave move there by Rashi, but Whale gets it back. Dark Mark third. Fourth. Have we got, have we got anyone else battling on track very close? No, not really. Uh, Danny and P11. No points over him. Freeman, he's up to 12th. Then we've got Gazelle, Mood Electric Goon, Gamer Man, who's in the pits. And Baz, who will move back to 16th place. Rashi and Whale, both in to change positions. Oza says, come on, Rashi. Rashi has been known to kind of blow races. He's, he doesn't want to get that bottle job status. Very close to the wall of the castle, but then, of course, every single time you come through there, it's brutally close through the castle. McLaren's occupying two points positions. I look Danny all over the back of Skin Shaggy. You've got to be very careful in the castle section, guys. Freeman Geese is looking for a way through. Look at Freeman go. Really hard racing here, just outside the points. A 
Freeman! Come on the inside here. You can't make a move there, surely. Excellent stuff. This isn't even a points battle. Look at how they're fighting for it. Awesome stuff. Gazelle, just in the background. Noodle like also ignore the time gaps, guys. That'll sort yourself out in a few laps anyway. That will get sorted. We've got yellow flag. Rara's gone. Rara is gone. In the castle. Freeman. From who? No, he's a Danny. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Wow. How are both of them still going? Danny's wings, of course, off. Freeman gets past Danny. What an unbelievable crash that was. How are they both still going? Do you know what? The game blamed Freeman for that. Freeman had a run on him. He lost control. That is an ultimate racing incident there. Poor Danny was had his wing wiped out, but he can get in and get into change of size. I'm surprised. Yeah, Dragoon has as well. He's got a wing off. I think he got caught up in the melee just behind. Baz is coming through the fucking wreckage here. What unbelievable trans... God, two guys. Well, I, I've got to say, Freeman Geese looks very racy. But it wasn't an aggressive move by Freeman. He got an amazing swing out there, out of the fast left, right. But he's obviously just caught a little bit of under oversteer there. Pinged it right back into the fucking side of Danny. Bam, wham, bam, how's your man? Freeman Geese down to 13th place. And Oza's there paying special... Oza's Ferrari, man. In case you guys are wondering. So that is the top 11 who are yet to pit in this Grand Prix. Danny, he's going to the end. He's going to try and go to the end. That's 23 laps on the tyres, guys. That's going to be an epic fucking proportion thing, this. First safety car. We've got a VSC. Now a full course caution. You can understand why. Rara exploded and then Danny and... Okay, Danny and... Uh, Freeman missed Rara by about an inch, by the way. <laughs> Slamming into the side of Danny. It could have been a three, four car pileup include... Well, five if you include Gazelle. Six if you include Noodleneck. That was avoiding catastrophe at the absolute... But at the absolute last second. Will anybody pit? Freeman's retired. What? Oh my. <laughs> what? Oh my. Holy moly. What in. How has he done that? Freeman Geese. I was really looking forward to seeing what he could do. Whale pits in. He's gone onto the hard tyres, he'd imagine. Gaylon squeezes past Freeman Geese. What? A <laughs> He's done a pause. <laughs> I can't do it because the little lady's in bed, guys. I I'm missing it. I can't do it. Three retirements, literally in the space of about four minutes. What an amazing start to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Lap five under the safety car. Free McGee's died under the safety car. Um, so that's not ideal. Uh, <laughs> Rashi has caught up with him now. P2 Dartmark, third Hambo, fourth Bishop. Bishop actually jumped. Well, yeah, I'm going to say jumped Austin, but... Yeah, he did. Bish has got Austin, P4. On a whale pit, didn't he? Sorry, they've all moved up on I just think, what the fuck happened there? Yeah, Freeman, that, that's um, rather an interesting crash, Freeman, to be fair. I uh, look at positions again, guys. Ravage Chili up, one, one, up four, as is Shaggy Gazelle and Noodle Like These guys all profiting uh, from the earlier crashes. Of course, Rara will be devastated, of course. Qualified P6. Looking good for McLaren. Found the fast left, right. It happens. Game over. Lucky he didn't kind of take anyone else out with him, but Freeman, he's tried his absolute best to get taken out with him, which would have been rather ideal. What do you see? Lie down, cat. Have a lie down. Oh, man, what a start. <laughs> Five laps in. I think I've done a fucking round. I've gone 12. I think I've gone 12 with Logan Paul. You know, that's why I'm not in broken a sweat yet. Um, <laughs> Danny taking his time through the castle section now. Dragoon. Oh, what, what the? What in the world are you doing? What has he done? <laughs> um... Yeah, that was one way to get round. Um, he's on hard tyres, Dragoon. He's gone back onto his original hards. So he can now go to the... Well, he could go to the end. He's um, slightly impaired right now. Um, Dragoon taking the whole droopy penis effect on his front one. Yeah, but Dragoon's got no wing as well. So I think the safety car's going to end up staying out for half the fucking race without actually coming in at this fucking rate. Uh, so Rashi is in the lead, of course, thanks to Whale Pitting. Whale, he fell down to 10. Danny's still in the hunt. He's in P12 after his earlier pit stop. Running on the hard tyres. We've got three guys going to the end. You know, actually, Dragoon is definitely pitting him now. So, I don't know how long it's... The safety car is going to have to come in this lap, you'd imagine. So, 
a Dragoon, got a five second penalty. He's got multi. Did he have another five? See, no penalties. Clean slate at the moment. 22 views, guys. Thank you for watching. What a mental race so far. Lap 6 of 26. 20 to go as we cross the line to complete this very lap that we're watching the race leaders following the safety car on Hambo P3, Blaze Bish P4, Austin, Rasa, Raver Chili, Skin Shaggy in the points, Gazelle in the points, and Noodle Neck also. We have to watch Whale here because this is a bit different from a lot of the other races he's done. He's an exceptional overtaker, but this isn't a bar ring. He's going to have to be very, very careful and very cautious. He's going to have to show a little bit more patience than what he did before. I can, see, I'm the opposite, man. I can't do soft runs on this. My tires just give up too quickly. I don't know what it is. Uh, Gamer Man is about to catch up. Dragoon is fucked at this race. Remember, if you do rage quit from the lobby, guys, I'm not saying he's going to, but if you do rage quit from the lobby, you will have a 20-second time penalty put on your next race that you finish. The whole qualifying ban thing we thought was fucking soft as shit. What's the point giving someone a quality ban? They can get themselves fresh tyres, and if it's a track they really love, they can just put their hards on, go to go as far as you want to go, and chill. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a soft punishment qualifying ban. 20 second penalty if anybody does decide to leave the lobby. Or rage quit, should we say. But definitely no rage quit so far. Rara explode through the fast left, right? I did actually say in quality, we haven't seen anyone blow up there. We've seen Rara absolutely explode, and Danny and Freeman's life flashing before their eyes. We've seen a castle explosion as well. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. Uh, I think we're going to have a safety car in this lap, away. No. It's not. I think it had come in. It's been out three laps now. They've been following it since lap four. I guess it's because Dragoon has crashed, I guess. I'm like, it's a race quick from the session. Yeah, you get a, if you deliberately crash your car, you get a 20 second penalty out of your next race. That's how we do it. It affects, like, we had someone in Spain, Dolby, uh, do it, and he got a safety car, and Game Man got a penalty. In it. So, Bish and Skin Shaggy, sorry, Bish and Austin are both pitting here. These guys are taking full advantage. No wing change for the two of them, I don't think. We're going to go on board with Austin just to make sure it's fucking... Where the fuck are you? Come on. Well, Austin did have a wing change. So Austin may have had damage there. Maybe get caught on the back of Bish, potentially. Uh, I'm not going to say that because I don't know it 100%. Oh, caught. No, you're allowed. If you crash out... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Austin. Yeah, uh, uh, exit that way, mate. Uh, <laughs> Dave Hunt, evening buddy. I am back on Saturday, matey. I am no longer sick as a fucking dog. We're rolling. Uh, I can't wait to watch Britain because I can't drive it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, but what I was just saying, if you crash out of a, of a race, not deliberately, you can fuck off and do whatever the fuck you want, man. We ain't going to keep you here till the end. <laughs> you know, we don't pay motherfucking wages here. You guys can fuck off and do what you want. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm, I know what you mean, Kayla. Dave Hunt, how you doing, matey? Uh, can't wait to watch your over 30s race on Saturday. I've heard the one on fucking last Saturday was a mental case. I, your man was lying in bed. Coma, it was pretty much until about 10 o'clock that night. <coughs> Bummy. And then went to bed at like 12 and then stayed there the whole time. Yeah, I just felt... I, I did the um, PRF1 stream, if you remember. and just couldn't barely fucking... Uh, I couldn't just keep my eyes open. Couldn't stop coughing, etc. But... <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, Senna in Monaco. Like, he just kind of, like, crashed out and then just fucked off to his hotel room. You know that is a boss when someone does that. It's like, fuck off, not speaking to you. Fuck yourself, cunt. Right. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, it's, it's one of the things. If you do crash... Um, like, say, for example, if you... if We're going to gonna just make an example now. If Rashi had enough of the race and he drove straight on here into that wall, which, if he did that, he'd be a complete fucking retard or his wheel jammed or something. I don't know. But you know what I mean? And then cause like an issue like uh, Dolby did it in Spain for Gamer Man. Uh Kian Foley, yo 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 can't wait can't wait to see you can't wait to kiss your bum Right kiss my ass if you want me I mean I ain't gonna let you do it for fucking free motherfucker get your donations on someone donates a hundred pound kick kiss my ass there you go right here we go then so Rashi Dark Mark Hambo Rasi Rave Chief there's the horse penis building in the background those of you like animal anatomies, skin shaggy, gazelle, needle neck, whale, Danny, Buzz, Gamerman, Bish, 
Austin and Jakku. And Rashi's waiting for the last second here. He's still not going. Jakku's got a penalty for it, Austin. What is going... What is... What are they all doing? Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, God. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Game of Man's actually in 13th. Austin's got past Game of Man. Look at this fucking carnage. Game of Man, oh, no. Game of Man, no. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. What has he done? I am absolutely gobsmacked. He's... He's... What? He's took out a third of the field. Wales got past Shaggy. Um... It's just, he's took out half the lobby. Oh, Shaggy, great move there. Oh, Danny's hit him. Oh, dearie me. Oh, it's, it's going off here. Everything's going mad. They need to, guys need to calm down. I think Shaggy just kind of went right in front. I don't think that was um, Danny's fault, amazingly, but what the? Uh, the stewards decide. Um, guys, just watch out. Shaggy's got no wing. Guys, just be very careful. This is just chilling, yeah. Rashi, Rashi's pitting, Rashi's pitting in. Um, I think Rashi's just getting off the tyres, is he? Rashi might have wing damage as well. The Hambo's got a three second belt. How'd you cut that fucking, how'd you cut the first corner? It's a fucking corner to cut. Everyone's pitting in, noodle legs. Look, I am, I'm, <laughs> guys, I, I, I have no words. Sorry to say, but. I don't often make calls like this. It was very bunched up. Rashi. Cheers, Baz. Yeah. Baz, you've been watching me for three years. It's rare that I'm speechless. He's still cut off the lobby. I've got no words. Yeah, I... Austin, I don't blame you. It, you were all very bunched up. Again, man, he's not braked. He didn't break. He got caught out by someone coming across him, but... He's still got half the lobby. Whoa! Oh, Dragoon's made a mistake there, and, and there goes Blaze Bishop up to P7. Gamer Man is still going around somehow. Like... Awesome, welcome to the stream. It's been so long since you've been in the stream. I understand why you're here, bro. I mean, I... I... Well, the stewards are going to have fun with that one. Um, I'm not one for influencing decisions, guys. I just say it as I fucking see it. That could well be the worst bit of driving in RRF1 history. <laughs> what was that? Dark Mark leads from Hambo. Then we got Rassier and P3. Uh, we've got no drivers left. How is he? Has he not got damage? What? I think he's got half a wing. Just what? But what's the I mean, game one finally pits? I I've got to be fair. I that's awful. I've seen some mad crashes on this channel, but that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, if if that's clip, guys, that's going to be. We don't say you stream. We usually don't use stream footage, but I think we need to make an exception with that because that's fucking... I don't want to... Like, there was a lot of factors that caused that crash. You know what I mean? But ultimately, he's hit the one car and he's caused the domino effect. And it was a bit of a dodgy restart, to be fair. I mean, he just kind of went slow, didn't he? He didn't go quick, but you're allowed to. No, that's the biggest incident Volker we've ever had. Hey, man, you were here for back in the day, bro. Season 2 slash 3. The heydays, as we used to call them. 
But we've, we've got Dark Mark, we've got, we've got a race going on here. I'll try and focus again because we've literally just had half the field wiped out. Uh, we've lost six guys in ten laps, three of them in one corner. Um. <laughs> like I said, the game, he's an inexperienced driver, but this you got to just be aware. Danny's just got Raver Chili. Danny's got Raver Chili. Has Raver Chili got damage? Did he just get him out right now? I don't know. What an absolutely mental, batshit, crazy race this is. Like, I've caused incidents like similar to that before. Uh, in I've done it in career mode. I've, you know, years, years have gone by. We all have mad moments, but that's fucking mental. Oh, Raver Chili was coming in anyway. Oh, Raver may have... Oh, oh he's got a double stack Dragoon. Oh, for the love of Lord. Here's teammate communication for you. Yep, uh, that is... I mean, that is probably the best. And Shaggy has just gone to the soft tyres and has found himself up there in P10. Maybe the ninth. Unbelievable race. He's following Raver. Raver's going to the end, but Shaggy's going to be pitting again. But look at this. Um... Guys, I want to I wanna know, just roughly, you don't have to go, f you can find out if you want to, I've, I've not got anything that tells you how long I've been following me for, so you sail that way, bro. No, you're fine, you're fine, you sail. Um, how long have you guys been watching me? Make sure we're free, second penalty. I, I was going to look at penalties, but I mean, they've all been served at the pit stops that got caused from that mad crash. We've got Dark Mark and Hambo here. Dark Mark, these two battling at the front. They do both have to pit. How far is Rashi off the lead here? 24 seconds. Yeah, they're going to come out in front of Rashi. I think Rashi may have had a bit of an incident. Yeah, but that was crazy. That was... Oh, Hambo! Hambo and Darkmark! Will Darkmark pit here? I think he does. Yellow flag sector three. Who's that? Wales round! Middle of the road! You got to watch out. It's ghosting on. Oh, my God. Ghosting is on, I think. Or, or off, I think. Game of has gone. Where's he gone? I'm sure people are not going to be too bothered about that one, to be honest, but... Oh, in the chat. But, oh, my God. Another one gone. That's seven retirements, and we're not halfway through the fucking race. Three. Exactly. Three years, man. When was the last time you saw me that speech at an incident? Dark Mark did pit for the hard, so Hamburg got him via pit stop. Oh, have you got, have you got the... Uh, Baz, if you want a bit... I'm, I'm not stupid, but... Like... <sighs> I've got the view from Vulcan's place. So Whale, amazingly, he survived. A Dragoon is still going round. He's in P11. You've just got to try and survive, and you will score points around here. Uh, oh, God. I, I don't want to jump on him too hard, because I want to... Obviously, we need to see all the angles of this, but you saw from my point of view, being on Gamer Man, someone did pull across him, but you've got to react. You can't just keep going because he's steamrolled through. For I'm not going to keep jumping on him, guys. I'm not going to keep jumping on him. It's unfair for me. We'll let the shoe's got to work, guys. You know what I mean? We'll let the shoe's got to work. It was a very, very bad crash. We will say that. But just to feel bad for everybody else. Um, uh, there's fights in there. We're going to basically go on board with Dartmark because Dartmark has actually pitted Bish. They're both pitted, so they're both going to the end, you'd imagine. Unless we get another fucking safety car. Half the field is nearly gone from this Grand Prix, and we're not at half distance. We could very well be commentating on no cars as it stands. <laughs> Dragoon could win this race from where he is. Almost unthinkable, quite frankly. Some guys have done fucking... Dragoon's done four pit stops, and he's one place outside the points. That's where we're looking here. Uh, there's been some fucking mental races, I mean, that I've commentated on. Um... Rassier comes into the pits, swaps out from the medium tyres. I believe he's going to go to the hard. Yes, he is. A lot of guys going for the medium hard. I went to go for a hard to medium, I think I went to do yesterday. On Monday, sorry. Oh, no, I went uh, medium hard. Uh, Fatal went hard medium. Yeah, that was a one. And my point streak is over in uh, for Dark Mark. Following Bish down the road. Bish is just line there. Forrester is gone. So the guys have run out. Forrester crashed it up to Rara, causing the safety car, which of course invertedly, inadvertently causes Freeman Geese to hit Dan <laughs> to hit Danny, who is in P2 for God. So how is he there? He was fucking nearly murdered by bloody Freeman Geese earlier. This is insane. Uh, Darkmark chasing down Blazing Bishop. See if we can get a good camera angle coming into the tight right hander before the castle section. Dark, you want to go much closer than that? 
I mean, we got a new one for Dive Bomb of the Year. Um, that's right, just move your tail. Put your fucking tail there, you mongo. Just put this tail into my fucking... Uh, if anyone DNFs, I'm announcing myself as winner and driver of the day. Uh, <laughs> Kayla, you can be number two. We'll give up. We'll jump in a party. We'll have a fucking interview. <laughs> fucking podium interview. Invasion. Um, so Baz, Woodsy says, lost all signal. Um, does anybody want to tell Woodsy what just happened? <laughs> we'll leave it there. Uh, fucking unbelievable. Dark Mark's got a bit of road on Bish here. Uh, it... <laughs> Yeah, um, it, lo it looked like a car. It, well, it was a car crash, literally. Dark mark then. Looking to try and get back onto the podium positions. Hambo remembers got a penalty. 11.2 seconds between Danny and Hambo. Hambo does have to pit again. I'm assuming he's going to go on the soft tyres. Uh, Dark mark. <coughs> into P3. That's it. Just behind them. You just see him in the background. There he is in the Alpha Tauri. The rema one remaining, sole remaining Alpha Tauri in P5. Rashi in P6. Gap to leader. 25.2. Rashi then, if they're all going to them, Rashi's going to have to come back through. Grab all the trophies, add the champagne, get fucking rat ass. How about that, people? Hey. And if you're not alcoholic, we'll, we'll do, uh, we'll just get you some fucking, I don't know, lemonade or whatever. Uh, right, so, Raver Chili's still going around. Both Red Bulls still going around. Don't forget about them, guys. Both Red Bulls are still driving around the back. Uh, Raver Chili in P9, but he is catching Skin Shaggy. In fact, Shaggy was behind Raver Chili. So Shaggy's overtaken Raver and moved up into P8. Gazelle Roadkill has been a silent guy here. Um. <laughs> it, it was just... It was bad, wasn't it? But like I said, I'm going to... I don't want you guys to... I know it's very easy to do, isn't it? Don't jump on him. Like, you know what I mean? It, we'll wait and see. That shoe is going to work. Something will happen over it. We know it will. Let the... Um, uh, the, the, in the, the unprofessional side of me wants to scream, but <laughs> uh, the, the the league runner side of me just says, "Let it, let him lie." He's a new he's a new driver, learn from his mistakes, and, and in comes Hambo. What tires? Hmm. He's going for the hard tire. Why? And Dark Mark's jumped here. In fact, I think Hambo's going to fall down to fifth here, I believe. Or at least fourth. No, he's third, Hambo. He's side by side with Bish. Bish is going to try and hang out on the outside. Hambo on the inside. Both cars. Bish! Awesome! Just got him! Ah, oh, you, you really will, Woodsy. It's been one of them. It was... Uh, I was speechless. Bish on the podium at the moment, Rossi. Oh, there goes Whale! On the outside of Raver Chili, Whale. I did actually see the move in stuff. I was watching the guys just in front. Raver Chili in P10. Now Whale and Shaggy. These two have had a history. In Bahrain, Whale made one of the moves of the season, which could have ended up in absolute agony. Don't. Yeah, he's been very patient here. Whale has a oh, gives him a little, little dink at the backside there. No harm done. I think Shaggy breaks a little bit earlier than Whale. Wales got to use that to his advantage at a particular corner, which is involved in braking. Shaggy just puts his car in annoying positions. I've braced him for many a year. Whale here. I think if he can get himself a bit of a good run, I think he has. He's going to try and send it there, and he doesn't, but he's just... Oh, he's pushing Shaggy along here at the moment. No, don't. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Fucking hell. Jesus. That's brave. I think... He, I, think I like the way Whale does his overtaking. I'm a savage motherfucker. I do like it. Oh, and through goes Raver Chili up the inside left. Great move here by Raver. But I know Shaggy would appreciate that, but to be fair, I've got a lot of respect for that. He put his car in the right position. He moved himself in front. Oh, we've got Bish and Hambo. Bish and Hambo, sorry. But off a P3. What a fucking race this has been. This has been fucking mental. Hambo P3 goes up to third. Bish is there. Eight lap old hard. He's got to do another 10 laps on them. This is ninth lap. He'll be hitting the 19th lap. Will he just pit? Does is he? Is, 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 for the Raver Chili if he pits. And Bish has still got no helmet on. He's literally driving around with a condom on his head. We put that on Rassi, having a little look out the Sipsy Rassi once again getting his consistency back. That's what I mean, is It's very, very aggressive, but at the same time, he's putting his car in the position to allow him to be aggressive. Sorry, boy. Sorry about that. Uh, here we go then. So. 
Gazelle. Will he be able to hold off the charge of Whale? We've not seen Gazelle. Oh, fuck it, race. I think he must have avoided the bowling earlier. Uh, Whale. Brilliant stuff. Anybody who hasn't got himself sub, please do so. Anybody who hasn't followed, be sure to do so. And also, now we've got more people. Guys, can everybody, everybody in the chat follow that link? That link that's just come up. Make sure you jump to it and follow. Why is it gone grey? No. Not round here. Not round here. Danny is fucking away with the fairies up front. I think he needs to pump. Guess what? The Danny will be the pit. He's a, he is, do you know what? As a spectator, he's really fun to watch. I can understand why people will complain, but at the same time, you've got to understand that he's trying to go... He, this, this ain't no fucking fairground ride, mate. You've got to go and win. I know some... Wait, Whale has shown a little bit of impatience from time to time, but then at the same time, I respect him for doing what he just did then. He went around the outside, inside of Shaggy, put himself in a position where Shaggy was either going to have to go side by side with him or let him go. You know, and he obviously opted out of it. Uh, bring the rain, rain. WD last night, mate, I, this is going to be... It's going to rain, isn't it? Baku in the rain is lethal. Rasu just got bish, by the way. A Rasu up at a P4. I'm not going to look at penalties now until the end of the Grand Prix. And Rashi is also catching the guys as well. Well, cheers for noticing that. Oh, this is the Ferrari guy. Um, look at this. Rasu made his move to cover. Goes back to the racing line. He could do it. He was, it's a fair game move. Bish wasn't alongside him, so he's allowed to kind of go back, check his line. Fourth and fifth. And then, oh, shit. Press the wrong button. There you go. I don't need that on, actually. Fuck it. Uh, here we go, then. This is the best, biggest battle on track at the moment. You'll see Rashi come up to the back of this group. Rashi on the fresher tyres. Dark Mark and Hambo, the two guys who were predicted to go and win this race, are being... Well, they're being beaten at the moment by PRF1 Danny. The guy who nobody thought would do anything in this race after the early crash out. I called it. He was really... Oh, goodness me, bish. Oh, if you crash out the castle, I'm done. I'm just going to laugh the way to the end of the stream. Uh... Yeah, exactly. I, I, I've, do you know, I, I almost, I'll tell you what I do like in the rain after today's career mode. Melbourne. Uh, I can't drive it in the dry at all, but I can drive it in the rain. Uh, Bish still driving around with no helmet on, so he is officially a condom, um, as you see there. Uh, <laughs> incredible. This this race has had everything. Fucking everything. Come on, Rashi, says Baz. Has, has Rashi got his, yeah, Rashi's got his helmet back on. Oh, I thought Rashi lost control of the car. You don't want to do that, mate. Just get yourself to the end. Shaggy has pitted. He's five seconds to go to Shaggy will be bagging the extra, well, A points. And Hambo's got Dark Mark. Hambo overtakes Dark Mark. He moves up into second position. Mark relegated down to third. Uh, guys with ERS. Danny's got the highest at the moment with 43%. Oh, it's Shaggy. 78 and Dragoon 44. These guys are just kind of getting round. Shaggy, welcome in, buddy. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Uh... Like, I didn't give you a little bit of a shout-out earlier. Chucky said you couldn't, obviously, commit you to work. And I did also say thank you very much, mate. So I'll say it while you're here now. Thank you very much for your service, bud. To RF1. And obviously, as a reserve... Well, like I said, always, a, if you want to get yourself back in as a reserve, let us know, fella. There's no reserves for Wednesday. So, obviously, if you're in a position to get a seat, feel free. Uh, so, Whale lost his wing. Now, this is probably going to scare the shit out of Shaggy uh, <laughs> after the earlier incident with the two. Uh, no, Shaggy just behind Whale. Whale in P9. Shaggy P10. Dragoon P11. Do I dare talk about what happened earlier? Do I dare? I've never been... Yeah, I've never been... I've not been speech... I'm not, you know, not going to talk about it. We're going to concentrate on what's happened though. because it's just fucking... Jesus. Usually I'd scream about it, but I'm... It's one of the two reactions. Bish and Rashi. Now, these two are former rivals in ERN. Division 5. Bish coming very close to the outside wall there. Lap 18 of 26. We've got eight to go when we cross the line here for pay dirt. Here we go. Watching the two ERN Division 5 title challenges. My former challenger for the title in HRT's race. Rashi, it's the wall. That's got to be damage. But has he got away with that? How he got away with that, I don't know. That could have been game over. Rashi got a lot of support here with the guys watching. Rashi seemed just ahead. Rashi, these two have had incidents in every race bar in Monaco. They still said they don't know when to quit against each other. Oh, Bish is them again. They miss each other again. Three races in a row and they've collided. Three out of four and they've collided. These guys don't give a fuck. They're going to try and kick the crap out of each other. Bish comes out of the slipstream. Down towards turn three. 
Rashi tries to hang around the outside and does beautifully. But it's still side by side between the two of them. Excellent stuff. Round turn four. Rashi takes the position. That was superb. Great battle between the two of them. Shoulders out. Fucking knees out. It felt like I was, I was, it felt like I was fucking Joe Rogan and fucking Daniel Cormier there, to be fair. Awesome stuff. We've had the bad. We've had the good. We've had the ugly in this race. Now we keep going. As we watch Ray Chili now catching up with Gazelle Roadkill. That's the battle for P7 at the moment. Raver's kind of got his act, in, act together, got his mojo back, and has literally got himself back there and back rolling. Uh, Hambo is hauling in Danny. Danny's got to go another eight laps. If I was Danny, get yourself in the pits, mate. Get yourself on mediums or something, maybe even softs. You can go to the end, but you're going to be a sitting duck. I think Danny, the way it's going, will probably keep ahead of Bish, but everyone else is fair game behind him. I don't think he's going to be able to hold them all up. And that's a burp. That was a mood killer. Uh, <laughs> Bish and Rashi. We're on the fast left, right. We've seen incidents on the final corner. Trade the trainer. I know you got me up, my man. Trade you. Fucking unbelievable geezer. Hope you've had great streams, man. I did tune into stream the other day. Give you a little cheeky host. And we've got Bish back. Have a go back at Rashi here. Such a long straight. Bish goes to the inside. Rashi tries to hang it around the outside. Still side by side. Goodness gracious me. They nearly plowed it into the wall. Unbelievable stuff between these two. They're still side by side. Oh, for the, oh, the fucking... Right home, guys. Right fucking home. Where are they? They are. Sorry. Bish moves back into P5. Rashi trying to hang it around the outside. He can't. Goodness me, what unbelievable battling here between these two. Possibly battle of the season. Cheers for that, Trey. Much appreciated, bro. Any mods in the chat? Put exclamation mark winner. Woodsy, exclamation mark winner if you can, please, bro. Trust me, you'll see. Uh, I promise I'll be um, sharing uh, Pajala's link. So here we go. Rashi then. P6. Cheers, Woodsy. Nice from Geese. Uh, there you go, my man. There you go. Pajala won the donation, but oh, Rashi's so close to the wall. Bish seems to have got away from Rashi at the moment. Just a shade under seven laps to go. Six and a half laps to go. And Danny has pretty much been caught by these guys. He is a sitting fucking duck at the moment. Man, I'm loving this. We, we've had everything in this fucking Grand Prix yet. And we've still got six and a bit to go. 24 views, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's been rare since I've been on this much fucking form in the commentary booth. But these guys give me something. There's a fucking horse penis right there. There. It's even got an eyeball. Right. <laughs> Just thought I'd spice the commentary up a little bit. Hammer, 1.8 seconds down. You can see Danny. He can see him. He's got him in his sights. Lock on target. Just a shade under six to go until we decide the eventual winner of the Baku Grand Prix Wednesday League for RRF1 Season 6. It is the fourth round, of course. Azerbaijan has brought up some classic races. This is one of them. RF1, don't do Baku easy. We don't do Baku easy. We fucking go in hard, peeps. Here we go. Rashi's still fighting. He just, and I mean just, got him. So, yeah, it, it, trust me, old, old commentaries. Go back, check the YouTube channel out, mate. Uh, anyone, any mods, just put an exclamation mark YouTube. And Rashi's hit the wall. Is that an end play off? He has hit that wall very hard. Do have a YouTube plug in the chat, guys, please? If not, I'll do it myself. Rashi, one second. Fatal! Yeah, bye! Uh, you could, if anybody wants to um, check out commands, just put exclamation mark commands, it'll tell. If you do it, you'll watch Wise Bot and Night Bot have a shout at each other. It's really funny. Uh, <laughs> but if you guys want to... Whoa! Whoa! No! Rashi! Uh, oh! 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 Oh dear, what's he called it? He said he'd do a pause. Oh my God, he really did a pause. Oh, Rashi, what have you done? Push it too hard again. Get yourself to the end. Ferrari need the points. If you pit now, you will come out in front of Shaggy, come out in front of Dragoon. Yeah, he did that for fuck's sake. Just keep it calm, Rashi, keep it calm, come on. I'm not. I'm an Alfa Romeo driver, guys, you know what I mean? So I'm loving Danny being up there at the moment, but. At the same time, oh my god, he's got five to go. Oh, I don't think Danny's going to be able to hold off at the charge of Hambo. God, I watch it. I'm going to get on board with Hambo. Hopefully, Rashi manages to survive. And yeah, this oh, actually, say, but let's go back and watch this because he's got to. Rashi's going to have to yeah, go over to the left. Yeah, Rashi's the experienced racer. He knows what he's doing. 
We just had... I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> We're waiting for the Gazelle one. If you haven't seen my clips, guys, you'll know why. Half of you are talking Charles Leclerc. Half of you are taking the piss out of me right now. It's funny as fuck. Uh, here we go. Skin Shaggy's going to come around. He's going to move to the ninth place. Shaggy's going to be buzzing with that. Still going around. Still going strong. Rashi will be on the softs. Rashi had a bashy, says Shrews. Because that's not a sexual innuendo if I haven't fucking seen one before. Uh, right, but this is the battle then. P1. It's, oh, God, Danny coming very close to the wall. The outside as close as you want to get without pausing it. Um, here we go. Six tenths of a second here. Mark is not in a position, it seems, to fight and keep up with these two. Four and a bit laps to go. We are watching the battle for P1 at the moment. I don't, I've, Hamburg's got penalties. I'm not checking what they are. I want to have that surprise at the end. Danny, championship leader at the moment, 50 points. Hambo is second on 33, I believe he's on. Oh, really close to the outside. What's he at? No, actually, is it 33? What's it? 33 or 31 he's on. I'm sure it's one of the two. Forgive me. Uh, here we go. Whoa! Danny and Hambo. They both. Danny lost it. Hambo hit the wall. Is that damage? Is that damage for Hambo? We nearly had double DNF there. Hambo's penalty, yep. Yeah. Uh, as I call it, Nik <laughs> Nikita Spazzy. Should Hambo have a look at the inside there? Giving Danny something to think about. Hambo will need to get this move done. He's going to have to try and break out three seconds. He's going to have to break up the red fucking panties if he wants to win this fucking game. <laughs> Vulcan's fucking autocorrect is absolutely serving him up an absolute stew fest at the moment. Rassia, very slowly, methodically, has been taken out. A Raver Chili, a, a Raver, oh my god, these two are really close. A Raver Chili goes, goes, goes on the right. Whale comes up the slip shot on the left. Into P7, goes Whale. Identical battle just behind. Just behind this. Unbelievable. This has been one of my this is one of my favourite commentaries of all time. Skin Jaggy and Rashi. These two have had history as well. Remember Singapore back in the day. Rashi in season two coming up with one of the greatest drives of his life. Shrews knows what happened there. His first ever race win. Shaggy was involved in that race as well. Shia Castle spin. I've just seen that actually. Rashi, purple middle sector. We're gonna go back up front. Oh wait, there we've got another battle. I think no Shaggy, that was just changed back to Shaggy. Sector two, three and a bit lap, or three and a third laps to go. Ten more sectors. Hambo is going, he's pushing ridiculously hard. Move away from the bin, you fucking idiot. Right, here we go. <laughs> is he going to get DRS? 25 views, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Get the shit shared. If you go, oh, yeah, the bonds. No, I've, I've had a few more than that, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm not, I just, oh, yeah, when I gave up and just sat, I turned away from the TV, didn't I? <laughs> Now, I had a, a solo Monaco for RRL back in 2017. That was that was the shit that was. Hambo, he's got wing damage. Fuck off, you fucking cunt. Bastard. Fucking bit me, you bellend. Fucking save it to the Chinese, motherfucker. Ah. Swat. Um. Oh, shit. Mike's not muted. <laughs> Fuck, well, there you go. That's my channel turned out for animal cruelty. Whale's got gazelle. Whale has got gazelle. Hambo. With damage has given Danny maybe the maybe the win. Mark has to get his act together here. Rasher is still there. Oh, possessed meerkats. Yeah, there's a few of them. Um, yeah, I, I I I can't remember half of these ones to be fair. Whale is looking because he can't quite get him. Hambo has come out in P5, which means Danny, Dark Mark, and Rasier. Rasier, sorry, got to get the Welsh part right. Oh, Whale was just a gazelle at the first corner. A turn two, sorry. Great move there. As I always say, oh, look at this. I, I think Raver Chili's going to have a little look at Gazelle as well. Going for P7 is Raver. Gazelle moves out of the way. He's just looking to get to the end. Fair play, Gazelle. He knows his limits. But Danny is on his 20th lap on the hards. This is going to be like a fucking ice streak to him. He's been losing the back end over and over again. <laughs> Mate, you know what? That was me naturally saying it. I, I was caught between calling motherfucker and bitch, and I just kind of got caught up. So I love Michael Bispin, mate, honestly. Ah, oh, Bish has made a move. This man made a mistake. He's keeping hammer. Oh, he has. Oh, my God. He's made a big fucking mistake. He's got a fucking wing, for fuck's sake. A bit. <laughs> oh, my God. Bish, no. Oh, my God. Well, serves you right for playing my clip on. Oh, my God. Right there. Serves you right for playing my clip on Monday, you bell. And there you go. There goes your points. Uh, unlucky, which means Dragoon. Dragoon is at the points. Bish has gone into the wall head first. Bish, bash, bosh. It's done. Game over. P1.
everyone's laughing. Poor Bish, man. Honestly, he was up there, lost his wing. He would have been okay. Just can't slow down a little bit. He was on the tyres for too long, maybe. But Danny, two laps to go. We've lost another driver. Shaggy back to P7. Dragoon has not been in the points the entire Grand Prix. He's about to move to P10. And it's, well, the weather's kind of, there's a thing that, <laughs> oh, everyone just went bish pass bosh in the chat. Oh my God. What an unbelievable race. I'm fucking coated in sweat. I'm not even fucking racing. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, right, so look at this though. Dark Mark and Rasir. Now, I've seen a race like this before. When, when Mark has been in this very position before. So I'm very intrigued to see what happens if Danny's tyres are going to be fucking ruined. He's got to still push hard, but this could very well be. Uh, could you get the car to slow down? Yeah, it happens, mate. We got the. the but, but <laughs> obviously, I had to use the whole you use the clip on me thing, but unlucky, bro. It, I love how you don't even get points, which is ridiculous. <laughs> We've actually had no retirement since Game of Man, and I'm not going to talk about what happened earlier. Here we go, then. That mark is beginning to hold Danny in here. Rasser, P3. Yellow flag, Sector 2. Gazelle! No! He's bending in the castle. He's done a pause. Oh, oh with it. Where's he gone? Oh, he can get through there. Hambo, three second time penalty. Gazelle has crashed. Now, Gazelle, once he does score for the table perspective, Gazelle has road killed himself in the fucking castle. Jesus Christ, his puns going everywhere here. Dragoon, unbelievable source. Oh, my good grief. What a mental race this has been. Good God. Oh, mate, I, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't call it sweat, mate. I'd call it crying. There's different types of water, different types of liquid. Uh, here we go. A piss was part of it because I probably was that mad of piss. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember that far, but I probably did. Uh, here we go. Dark Mark, 2.4 seconds off Danny. Rasseur, is he just going to sell for third or is he going to push a bit harder? The thing is, when you're all on pretty worn tyres, to be fair, you don't want to push too hard. Hambo is pushing like an absolute motherfucker at the moment. Whale actually has the fastest lap with a 1 minute 40.232. Whale's still gone. I forgot he was still in the fucking race, to be fair. <laughs> totally fucking forgot. Uh, Whale, then, is running P5. Good stuff from him. He's kept it clean. Raven Chili also, as well. The easiest survivors. Exactly half the field has now retired, but Gazelle does score. No! Oh! Who was that? Dragoon. Dragoon's at the wall. Uh, you, you might want to get going. You get score from it. You don't get points. Oh, I think you might just let him go. We're on the final lap, aren't we? I don't fucking know. Uh, we are. So Danny coming around the final complex of corners. All he has to do is just get off the accelerator. From 14th, from 15th on the grid. From 15th on the grid. This is ridiculous. This is a championship drive. Danny wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Dark Mark, excellent stuff in second. Rassir in third. Oh, that's how we do it. Unbelievable. Absolutely fucking unbelievable. Hambo in P4. And the fastest lap on the last one. Yeah, Danny's top anyway. I think Danny was top anyway. I think it was 50 points. Well, I'm sure he was. Danny's good. Up to 75. Third win of the season for Danny. Whale claims a very, very good P5. Very impressive performance from Whale. Uh, we've got uh, Raver Chili, excellent by Raver. He weaves across the line. Well done, Raver. Best you could do there, mate. P6, excellent stuff. Sticking his guns to the one stop. <laughs> Dragoon, I think he was just letting guys through to get a lap down. Dragoon comes in ninth place. Rashi P7, his first points of the RF1 season six season. Skin Shaggy, he always survives. This time. It's paid off for him. D don't crash, please, Shaggy. It just got to be ironic, wasn't it? P8 for Shaggy. What have we just witnessed? What have we just witnessed? Now, we're going to do something different here, guys. I'm not going to shut my stream down. But we are actually... If I raid, does it automatically shut my stream down? I need to know. Because we've got a lot of motherfuckers in here, right? Uh, Daddy, then. Claiming P1. <laughs> what an insane, insane race. Oh, Shrews, you've got to watch it back later, trust me. It's fucking ridiculous. 
I'll get it up on YouTube, mate. You can have a watch Butcher on that if you want. Bish crashed out a P4. Hammer was pressurizing him. He did lose the back end. Bish's tires were gone. Dark Mark, another podium. Williams, it looks so good at the start. Austin caught up in the absolute death drop, which was Game of Man there. And Danny claims a win with a, just a shade of a 48 minutes for Alfa Romeo. His third win in four races. Dark Mark then 2.1 seconds behind in second with Brassier. His second podium of the season. The third, Hambo in P4. The pace was there. The consistency wasn't. Whale, P5. Our pole man got P5 in the end. Uh, Whale. Uh, wrong time to pit for himself. An excellent overtaking maneuvers. Ravis Chili in P6. The ever consistent driver. Rashi in seventh gets his first points of the season. Shaggy the, the survivor in P8. Uh, TR Dragoon getting in P9. And Gazelle Roadkill. Even though he did retire, he is classified as technically as Bish, but you don't get points for 11th place, Captain Buddy. Right, we're going to go and um, do some podium interviews, quick ones, because I want to go and do a quick raid. Um, we're going to go and decide a raid destination while I'm doing the interviews. We have just witnessed possibly one of the wildest races I've ever commentated on. I say this almost week in, week out, but it's because it's fucking true. Like, these, I, every race I'm on is a fucking crack den, genuinely. Guys, I've never witnessed a, a crash like that. I've never witnessed a taking like that round here. Cars decided just to plough into walls. I mean, nobody wanted to score points in this race, seemingly. Uh, but we're going to talk that out. Let's have a look and see if everybody... Uh, I did see a couple of people join. We've got four in the party. Russ has just joined. Uh, Danny and Mark, can you give us a uh, la, 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 radio chat, please, guys? Mic check. Mic check, mic check. Yeah, One, two. Here, That's it. Uh, Russ here when he gets in. Noodle Noodle got a... Noodle got a pukia. Oh, a puncture. I was about to say, what the fuck is a pukia? <laughs> Everyone includes your audio. Danny, uh, well done, mate. Um... Nobody predicted you to get anywhere near the Grand Prix win there, mate. That was a drive of, uh, well, champ. Talk us through it. Yeah, no, well, I was one of them people as well. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was screwed when I crashed out in Q2. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how I got the hardest to the end there, to be honest. It was like an ice rink for about eight laps. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Happy with that. Probably, the, like, the best race I've done. Um, so, yeah, happy well, with that. Fair, mate. You've, you've had one of the best starts ever. No, yeah, it's definitely the best start I've ever had in Dark Mark on all that because I've never had this good a start in PRF one. But yeah, man. No, other than that, mate, um, did you ever kind of think about pitting at all, or was that like, always your mindset to get? Into I it? contemplated it, but then, like, I was watching the time for a few laps, and it wasn't coming down drastically. So I thought, Hambo had a three-second penalty, and I thought he was going to catch me. But I thought I could maybe stick with that. I was going to just try and get a podium, to be honest. I thought Dark Mark and Hambo would catch me. Hambo, I believe, definitely did, but um, obviously. Yeah, no, obviously. I'm, I'm guessing he hit the wall or something. I didn't know what happened. It was an impit. It was a weird one. Yeah, you lost the back end, then he kind of walled the wall behind you. But no, 25 points, 75 points for a season, Danny. Kind of the next, we're going to have a quick uh, podium here, Matt. I'm going to say congratulations because I'll be honest with you. In fact, I'll be honest with all three of you. I want to fuck off for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to fucking go bullshit in here. But no, well done, Danny. That's On to me. Canada. Congratulations, mate. Three out of four. Well done. On to another consistent motherfucker here, Mark. Well done. Uh, you got your first uh, podium finish, I believe, it was Spain, wasn't it, if I'm correct? Yeah. Well, you were fourth in Spain, weren't you? Uh, you yeah. Seemed to be kind of gathering a bit of momentum now, mate. Talk us through your race. Yeah, mate. that was tough. Um, obviously, me and Rashi and Party tried at the beginning when everyone sort of like parted like the Red Sea in front of us. So we were just going to drive away from everyone after the safety car. He lost it, so I carried on. My tyres started going off, so I will pit in a little bit early for the hards. And then... I mean, I can believe what Danny was saying. By the end of that race, my tyres were like, I was driving on an ice rink as well, and mine were five or six laps like younger than his. Um, I didn't think I was going to get second. I thought I'd, well, I'd settled for third. Um, and then Hambo obviously had his incident. I moved up to second, and I was just keeping that eye on Rassier behind me. Um, obviously, t watching the time tick down, but just making sure I used enough battery to keep him that, that ha like arm, arm length away. I wasn't ever catching Danny enough so i just settled for a second really it was tough though bloody hot and sweaty it was tough mate I've, i'm i was saying in the commentary box i'm fucking caked myself mm. and i'm sitting there talking about the race yeah. i can't imagine what you guys are feeling at the moment but yeah. uh seems to gather some momentum again mark uh former champion in this league remember back in the day back um, in the day and by the way we realized spain wasn't your first ever rf1 race we're not going to talk about one of your first ones we'll leave that there no we've done enough of that in the chat yeah <laughs> Sorry, I'm to well, shoot, done. But well done to everyone <laughs> yeah well done mate no worries, Danny. Legend, mate. 
Uh, well done there, Mark, as well. Uh, Jamie, been a while, mate. Uh, I'm smoking this pre-season. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, talk us through your race, mate. You've had a bit of a fun one yourself. I'll be honest, though, Jamie. To be fair, I call you Rasir because it, it's like we're buddies. You know what I mean? We don't let people know that. You know what I mean? Man's admin here. We can't be seen to be elbowing each other here, man. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Mark, fiver in the pocket. I'll get you the win. Danny's <laughs> fucked off now. Right? Uh, <laughs> tell her for you, Jamie. Fuck off. Uh, no, but you, it's like you had obviously the downforce in the end has got you there to the end, doesn't it? It's obviously given you the extra grip to be able to keep up and catch Mark. It seemed like though. Um, it was a really tricky one because you seemed to struggle a lot on the corner before the castle. In the first sector, you used to catch Mark. Obviously, the 90-degree corners, you were fucking loving it. About half a second average, trust me. I don't say this on stream. I just act like a knobhead, but I actually do notice these things. But, you know, kind of like your own in your own head getting around that tight right before the castle? Or was it something you noticed that you were losing time on? Or what would you say? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Rasse, I think I think you haven't included your audio, mate. You haven't ticked the box. Oh, for fuck's sake. This one. Fuck's sake, uh, yeah. He called you all cunts and said, fuck off the lot of you. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if, if you we'll come in... You, here we go. So, Jamie, talk us through that again, mate. Sorry. If you no come in too deep on. on that tight right there and uh, before the castle section, you, you pick up penalty yeah. points. So, I don't know what it was. Um... It was either clip the curb and take penalties and then obviously lose third or just drive really patient and slow into it. Castle section I was wondering, went too I thought, bad. I thought you were having an issue, you know what I mean? But obviously it was more caution. So kind of a wise decision then because obviously no penalties. Yeah. But um, a good P3. Thank well you. I can't say more than that. Thank you. Um, next time you'll see me, it'll be tomorrow night, me and Bishop doing some football manager. Guys, I know this might not be your thing. We're ending the season and we're actually on a run of form. And Bish can't beat me, so you've got to tune in for that one. Uh, right, next time we do the commentary is PRF1 Division 2. That'll be 8.30 on Friday. Same time for Saturday for over 30. Sunday Drive. Mark, I've got to plug it. Will you let me have that one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sunday Drive on, on what you would call it, on. I, ne I nearly forgot what day it was on. I'm fucking done. Right, I've <coughs> ended it right, guys. Uh, <laughs> we're we're going to raid um, the most successful YouTuber who does F1. Uh, it is... Tia McMaddock. Who'd have thought that? Legend. Let's go raid him. Everyone jump in. Um, he's an Australian living in Britain. Legend. Uh, has it actually come up on... Where the fuck is it? Is it actually raided? He needs to hurry up and release his next career mode video. I, I've not actually watched any this year. I have. Uh, maybe because I was just focused on my own one, to be fair. I won't say who else is I've been watching because I know you don't like him. Oh, not that fucking idiot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't mind the fake motherfucker, mate. It's all good. But basically, guys, we're going to have a little bit of a talk uh, while waiting for this to get going. Uh, excellent race. Um, for the most part, you guys, just make sure, if you want to watch Boz Speechless, watch after the safety car restart, because that is a moment for the ages. Um, right, okay, we're going to go and cancel that off. Guys, everyone else jump back in. Um, I'm gonna, I've just cancelled the raid off because uh, the tablet fucked up. It wouldn't have gone through. Uh, no, now I need to spell it again for the fourth time. But yeah, RF1, uh, for anybody who's got clips, send them in to, for this for this division, get them into Grit and Ryan, uh, aka the Rage King, or whatever the fuck his game attack is now, I don't fucking know. And, um, uh, other stuff. Yeah, Raid has been cancelled, because I cancelled it, mate, to be fair. Uh, right, guys, all the best, much love. Let's go see what Tim Marley's doing. Bye for now.